I, oh, I tell you what, y'all came back. I told you I'd be here. Glad y'all came back as well. Finalists in country musician beginner categories. If you are a finalist in beginner dobro guitar, beginner mandolin, beginner five string banjo, beginner flat top, and beginner fiddle, go ahead and understand we're going to be starting. So, beginner dobro guitar. We're looking for Eden Harris and Reagan Brown. Beginner mandolin, it's Silas Pegg, Stephen Stewart, and Reagan Brown. Reagan Brown, you're performing a lot, so get ready. But if you are a finalist in those categories, go ahead and get your instrument up, get warmed up. And if you are in our first category, go ahead and make your way backstage so Miss Beth can get you checked in and lined up. Also, we'll be going straight into preliminaries for bluegrass banjo. Junior fiddle, flat top guitar, contest fiddle, bluegrass band, senior fiddle, square dancing. And then we'll have finals. And we'll finish like we did back in the olden days. Some point in time, probably Sunday morning. So um, we're excited to have everyone here. Are y'all dry? Well, some of you are. We're glad to have you once again here at our fifth Smithville Fillers Jamboree. Okay. We need Dobro Guitar finalist. And Dobro Guitar, please come backstage. Finalist in Dobro Guitar. It is who we need. Also, registration has closed in our preliminary categories. We're looking for backstage Eden Harris and Reagan Brown. And also, if you want to go ahead and be making your way to the stage, there's going to be Silas Pegg and Stephen Stewart, as well as Reagan Brown. So. We want to thank... The Cap Telephone Cooperative for presenting this year's 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. Whether you need high-speed internet, phone, TV security, services, DTC Communications has it all. They've been making meaningful connections for over 70 years. They're your local community provider. Visit them online at dtccom.net for more information. Once again, if you are, we have some great giveaways. We're still going to be giving stuff away all through the night. We're giving away prizes like the government gives away cheese at the end of the month. Um, we have all types of things for you. Go ahead and buy a raffle ticket. It's still one for a dollar. You get six tickets for five and 15 for 10. Go over here to see my buddy Carson. So he's selling tickets. Once again, Finalist in beginner dobro guitar. Be making your way behind the stage. As we can start again our finals, finals for our national champion musician beginners. We also want to say thank you to WJLE 101.7 FM, 1480 AM Smithville for providing wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Go to either website if you need to see some pictures. They have the list of all the winners um, from this morning that we announced. But tonight, if you have a loved one that wins something, you want to be able to see, see their picture, check out WJLE for that. So go check out WJLE.com for all your Jamboree news. Are you Miss Harris? Good deal. Judges, how are we doing? We still waiting on a few? Okay, we're fine. Okay, we're good. 
We'll be moving into finals of our national championship musician beginners dobro guitar. We'll go into beginner mandolin, beginning banjo, five strings, flat top guitar, and then we'll move into beginner fiddle. And then we will go straight into preliminaries for bluegrass banjo and the rest of our events. So we will keep everything as scheduled. We just had the typical jamboree snafu of, well, the weather. Um, while we got everyone here, where are y'all from? Alexandria? Home of the finest folks on earth. And the ground, absolutely, absolutely. Where else? McMinnville, where else? Lafayette, we got Georgia, where else? Jamestown, I heard an OH. Uh, you're supposed to say I owe Ohio folks. Argentina? How'd you find us? Indiana? Where else? What part of Tennessee? Callan? Cowan. Oh, wonderful. Welcome. Red Boiling Springs. You're sitting next to the Lafayette people. If this is a basketball game, y'all wouldn't like each other very much. Unless your name's Larry White. He because he, he coaches for both of them. What about this cute couple right over here? Where y'all from? Sparta? Heard witness protection program, that's where y'all from. Someone said they're from Woodbury? Well, that's where y'all from Woodbury. Oh, our, here I thought y'all from way, way down yonder. Y'all are just our, our cousins from across the way. Thank you for coming. What about the four of you all who are trying to eat your supper in peace? Where y'all from? Where? Asheville? Oh, you're from here? They're saying you're from here. I'm talking to the four people in the back. We'll get to y'all here in a minute. No, no, you, you, USA to, and the lady and the lady and the man. Where are y'all from? Nashville. Oh, wonderful. A little bit of everywhere. Actually, I'm just from here. I'm from Alexandria is where I'm from. We have all our judges. Why not a judge? Yes. We got our judges. Okay. We got our judges. We have Miss Harris. Did Reagan Brown check? We're good to go. We got judges. We got a contestant. And we got finals back on. Let's make some noise. Oh, yes. Okay. Finalist in Dobro Guitar. Judges, this is contestant number 88-0 from Rockville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Miss Eden Harris. Hi, um, I will be playing uh, Liza Jane.
She is Eden Harris from Rockville, Tennessee. Great job, great job. Okay, finalists and beginner mandolin be making your way to the backstage to check in with Miss Beth and Jake. Judges, coming to the stage right now is contestant number 68. That's 6'8". From Springfield, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, give a big jamboree welcome to Miss Reagan Brown. I'm going to play Ojo Clark. That was Reagan Brown, great job. Finalists in Beginner Mandolin, be making your way to the stage. Finalists in Beginner Mandolin, if you're Silas Pegg, Stephen Stewart, Reagan Brown, be ready to come up on stage in Beginner Mandolin. We wanna thank our sponsors. This portion of the Smith Fiddler's Jamboree is brought to you by Regions. Regions Bank is one of the nation's largest full service providers of consumer and commercial banking. Wealth Management and Mortgage Product Services, Region serves customers across the South, Midwest, and Texas. And through its subsidiary, Regions Bank operates more than 1,250 banking offices and more than 2,000 ATMs and more than 2,000 branches across Tennessee. Regions Bank is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Finalists and beginners, Mandolin. We need Silas Peck from Gallatin, Tennessee. None of them? Let's bring the other two up. Silas Peck. Report to the backstage area. Okay, judges in beginner mandolin from Monterey, Tennessee. It's contestant number 125, 125 from Monterey, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome to the stage, Stephen Stewart. This next song is called Old Joe Clark. Stephen Stewart. Sorry about our walking hazard. 
This portion of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree is brought to you by Hyundai of Cookville. They're a proud sponsor of the 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. We don't just trust work in the community. We live here. We're proud to be locally owned and operated and home of the lifetime warranty for all new Hyundai models. Dance on over to Premier Hyundai, dealer in the Upper Cumberlands. We look forward to taking care of all your automotive needs. Okay, judges, up next from Springfield, Tennessee. She is contestant number 68, 68. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Ms. Reagan Brown. We need Silas Pegg to come backstage. Silas Pegg to come backstage. Also, finalists and beginner, Ben Joby making your way backstage. River Smith, Derek Stone, and Reagan Brown. Silas Pegg, last call for Silas Pegg. We play El Comanchero. One, two. Reagan Brown. We want to say a big thank you to DeKalb Telephone Cooperative for being our headlining sponsor, but also to Nick Noakes and the gang for keeping us up to date on what's going on here at the Jamboree. He's in a van where we can't see him, but we thank you, Nick, for everything you and your bunch have done here for us at the Jamboree to make it as special as it can be. Last call for Silas Pegg. Silas Pegg. Judges, unless we have a tie, we're going to move on, okay? Okay. You ready? Once again, if you're a finalist in the National Championship, yeah. musician beginners be going backstage. We're about to move into beginner banjo, and then we will go into beginner flat top, and then into beginner fiddle, and then we will start preliminary events in bluegrass banjo and junior fiddle after that. We're going to go straight into it. So be making your way here to the stage accordingly. We had a big moment earlier today, if you're just now getting here since the weather's kind of cooled down. The Grand Ole Opry Square Dancers formally invited the winner of our Youth Square Dancing competition to come dance with them at the historic Grand Ole Opry. The Grand Ole Opry Square Dancers, one of the most his yes, clap for that. Big deal. When you look at the members of the Grand Ole Opry dating back to their beginning over 90 years ago, it was square dancers they've always had, so it's a very big honor for our winners to go there. And we're good. So we're going to move on now to beginner five-string banjo. 
judges, this is contestant number 130 from Johnson City, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome River Smith. The first song I'll be playing is Blackjack. Tennessee. Great job, River. We need Emmanuel Roberts, Reagan Brown, and Campbell Collier to be making your way backstage. That's Emmanuel Roberts, Reagan Brown, Campbell Collier. Up next, judges. It's contestant number 115, 115. From Chattanooga, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, make and welcome Mr. Derek Stone. I'm going to play one called Earl's Breakdown. Once again, we need beginner flat top finalist Emmanuel Roberts, Reagan Brown, Campbell Collier. Be making your way backstage. Get checked in with Miss Beth so we can get you ready. Coming back to the stage. You kind of taken a residency up here, Reagan. Once again, please welcome back judges. Contestant number 6868. Once again from Springfield, Tennessee. Welcome back, Reagan Brown.
I'm gonna play El Joe Clark. No. Is that what it is? Oh, Cripple Creek. Sorry, that's guitar. Or some instrument. <laughs> <laughs> She is Reagan Brown from Springfield, Tennessee. Great job, great job. We want to remind you that we still have a lot of great giveaways later to on tonight. Some stuff we didn't get to give away because of the rain. Well, we still got them. Um, so go ahead and buy a raffle ticket from us down here. It is going to be $1 for a ticket, 6 for 5 15 for 10 Is Adam still selling stuff? Is Adam still at booth number one? He, okay, so so go here a little bit. Adam, who's our Jamboree merchandise guru, anything that says Jamboree on it, he has it. Go ahead and buy a T-shirt from him. Go ahead and get a, your commemorative poster. I think we got a few knives left, just a few, and I still believe we will auction off serial number one later on. But uh, go check out the merchandise booth over at booth number one here to my left. So... Also, our food booths didn't go anywhere, so if you haven't eaten anything yet, go check out our food booths. Long, long time ago, all the food booths were just nonprofit organizations, but we still have one of those nonprofit organizations, the 4-H Food Booth. They send kids all over the state of Tennessee for trips to learn about state government, learn about agriculture, learn about uh, consumer decision-making, so go sponsor them. Get a barbecue sandwich, a hot dog, or barbecue nachos. It's kind of a at this point in time, a jamboree staple. Mr. Timmy and I have worked in that 4-H food booth many, many years ago. We need Reagan Ray and Abigail Ward to come to the backstage area. Are we still tabulating? Looks like we are. I get that nod from Miss Vicky. We want to say thank you to our sponsors, Region Bank. Regions Bank is one of the nation's largest full-service provider of consumer and commercial banking. Wealth management, mortgage product services, region services customers across the South, Midwest, and Texas. And through its subsidiary, Regions Bank, it operates more than 1,250 banking offices and more than 2,000 ATMs and more than 200 branches across Tennessee. Regions Bank is an equal housing lender and member FDIC. Okay. Moving on to beginner flat top. Hey, before we do, I know Luke just mentioned it, but you need if you're here, you need to make sure you buy a raffle ticket, okay? Because all those people that had raffle tickets that went home, they don't get nothing. You got to be here to win. So if you don't have a raffle ticket, your chances just went up because of the rain, okay? So one for a dollar, six for five dollars, and fifteen for ten dollars. See Mr. Carson over there in the blue and white red hat? Wave, Carson. Y'all give him a round of applause. We've got some cool stuff, and you can't win if you don't have a ticket, so make sure you grab a ticket. Back to beginner flat top. Once again, we need Abigail Ward, Cadence Edgington, Summer Edgington. You're in beginner fiddle, so be making your way backstage. Up next... From Fort Payne, Alabama. He's contestant number 152-152. Ladies and gentlemen, starting our finals category off and beginner flat top. Give it up for Emmanuel Roberts.
I'm going to play Salt Creek. Up next, from Springfield, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage, Miss Reagan Brown, judges, contestant number 6868. Give it for Reagan Brown. I'm going to play Kentucky Waltz. She is Reagan Brown. We need Campbell Collier to come to the backstage area. Also finalist in beginner fiddle. Abigail Ward, Cadence Edgington, Summer Edgington. I see the Edgington family, they're getting ready. We need Campbell Collier. Campbell Collier. We're going to scratch it. We're done. So it's going to let Vicky know. We need Abigail Ward to come to the backstage. Actually, we need Abigail Ward on stage. Abigail Ward. We'll be moving in now to our next finals category of beginner fiddle. We're excited that you all have returned back to our Fiddler's Jamboree after our run to the fire hall. 
We hope no one got injured in doing so, and no one left a dog this time. Once again, we're excited that the winner of our fiddle-off tonight will be going to play at the Grand Ole Opry at a later date, thanks to partnering with the Grand Ole Opry. Also, a big shout-out to Darren Vincent, a daily and Vincent for, and, of course, the general manager, Dan Rogers, for ma allowing us to do this. Last year, Mr. Noah Goble, who's competing again this year, I believe, um, was able to go and play on the Grand Ole Opry stage, and a lot of our former contestants have gone on to do so. You'll see one later tonight. You've already seen her so far. Maddie Denton has played on the Ryman Auditorium stage. We have Sierra Hull, who used to compete here many times. Ms. Ivy Phillips has went on to do great things as well, and we're excited to see what happens with our fiddle-off winner this year. So, we're scratched. Okay, we're moving on to fiddle. We're going to bring up first from Nashville, Tennessee, judges. This is contestant number 135. 135 from Nashville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Cadence Edgington. I'm going to play Bluegrass in the Backwoods. Cadence Edgington. Okay. We need another Edgington young lady to come. From Nashville, Tennessee, please welcome judges back to the stage. Contestant number 134, 134, Miss Summer Edgington. There you go. You're all set. I'm going to play back up and push. One, two, three. Thank you. 
she is Summer Edgington. Great job, great job, Edgington family. Last call for Miss Abigail Ward. Abigail Ward, last call. If you are a child that just competed in the finals, you, are, you need to go backstage immediately. Children that competed in finals, report to the backstage area immediately so Miss Beth can get you lined up because we're going to go straight into awards. All children that made finals, go backstage. Judges, we're going to scratch. Last call for Abigail Ward. Abigail Ward, anywhere. We're going to scratch her, okay? She'll get third. Folks, we're going to give out some awards for our beginner categories as soon as we get verification that there is no tie. We have seven categories of beginners that we will be giving out awards for. Once we finish that we will come back into our adult competition where we're going to pick up with bluegrass banjo i believe we have a total of 14 contestants in the bluegrass banjo how about these kiddos that come up here this is the they are playing for the national championship of country musician beginners the fiddle winner We'll walk away with the James G. Bobo Driver Memorial Trophy for being the fiddle champion in the National Championship of Music Country Musician Beginners Fiddle Champion. Once again, Alex, we have these great giveaways that we didn't get to give away due to the rain, but we're sure we can give them away. Go get those raffle tickets. As Alex says, you got to be here to win. So a lot of people left. That means they are ripe for the picking. So go ahead and get those raffle tickets. It's $1 a ticket, $6 for 5 and 15 for 10 Sir, you got your ticket? Fiddle. Sir, sir, excuse me. You got your tickets? Go in a bomb. Grab somebody else and go get some too, okay? He's got his. Make sure you have your raffle tickets. Alex, I think we are getting ready for some awards. We good on fiddle? We're good on fiddle. We're good on the fiddle. Big hand for our judges. We appreciate them coming back. We weren't sure if they would melt. Well, not really. We were sure they wouldn't melt. But we appreciate them being here with us yesterday and today. Good to see a good crowd come back with us after the rain delay. Anybody come back from, from Tennessee? Good. What about out of state? Good. Who's here for the first time? I think we got some people that aren't honest, too. Let's try that again. Who's here for the very first time? Not the first time today. Good. Hey, anybody here for the first time that's come back just right after the rain? This is their first visit right there. Have you been to all of them? Anybody else been to the first jamboree? Danny, I see a few hands out here. We appreciate our continued support year after year. Now, I got one question. Anybody know anybody that's not here that doesn't know about this but would enjoy it for next year? Raise your hand. Now pull your phone out and send them the link, smithfieldjamboree.com. Tell them to go on and pull it up online tonight. Watch it. See what it's about. Maybe they'll come be with us next year. That's smithfieldjamboree.com. Let's give away some awards and money. Let's do it, Alex. All right. We need our finalists for beginner buck dancing. 
Brooklyn, Eden, and Noah. Folks, if you were here before the rain, you saw them compete. If you only came back after the rain, you missed them. But give them a round of applause. This is our beginner bug dancing, ages 12 and under, in third place. From Dixon, Tennessee, Mr. Noah Fennell. In second place, from Old Hickory, Tennessee, Miss Brooklyn Frank. And in first place, from Rockville, Tennessee, Miss Eden Harris. If y'all will scoot back and get a picture. Ansley, scoot back over there. Ansley, Ansley, move over here. There you go. Thank you. Quit. All right, now we need our finalists for beginner clogging. Oh, they're back. Y'all can, y'all, if y'all want to set that stuff down on the bench back there, I just need you to. Oh. Wow, that was smart, Sarah. She brings one kid to the finals and she gets all three checks. All right, our same finals for beginner buck dancing is the same for beginner clog um, clogging. Give them a hand. In third place, from Old Hickory, Tennessee, Miss Brooklyn Frank. In second place, from Tennessee, Rockvale, Tennessee, Miss Eden Harris. And your 2023 beginner clogging champion, Mr. Noah Fennell from Dixon, Tennessee. Y'all scoot back. We need our finalists for beginner dubro dubro guitar. You got a boyfriend this year? I know. Is it bad luck or you just don't like sharing your money and time? All right, beginner dubro guitar. Y'all give them a round of applause, Miss Eden and Miss Reagan. In second place on the beginner dub row from Springfield, Tennessee, Miss Reagan Brown. And in first place, your 2023 beginner dub row guitar from Rockville, Tennessee, Miss Eden Harris. What's neat about these competitions is they're not just competitors against each other, but they're friends. Here, I'll hold the check. No. Hold on, let me hold that. It's okay, I'm a banker. Okay? All right, we need our finalists for beginner mandolin. Silas, Stephen, Reagan. All right. 
Y'all give a hand for our beginner mandolin. In third place from Gallatin, Tennessee, Mr. Silas Pegg. This is beginner 12 and under. I'm not good. I'm a beginner. Okay. He is right. He's not good. He's a beginner. In second place from Monterey, Tennessee, Mr. Steven, Steven Stewart. And your beginner mandolin champion in the beginner category from, from Springfield, Tennessee, Miss Reagan Brown. If you're taking pictures of anybody on our stage, we need you to tag us on social media. So our tag symbols are at the bottom of the stage on the left-hand side. On Facebook, it's at Smithville Jamboree. Help me out, Bill. On Instagram, it's Smithville Fiddlers, and on Twitter, it's TikTok, I'm sorry. At Smithville Jamboree. You can read it better than I can say it because I can't see it. All right, we need our finalists for beginner banjo, five string. If you're an IRS agent, you better be watching this one right here. She's making a lot of money. Make sure it's reported. Y'all give our finalists a round of applause, beginner banjo. In third place, from Springfield, Tennessee, Miss Reagan Brown. In second place, from Johnson City, Tennessee, River Smith. And your beginner banjo five string winner from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Mr. Derek Stone. together that might be hard you think yeah, probably so we need our finalists for beginner here I'll hold it Our finalists for beginner flat top. Come back up, Reagan. Emmanuel and Campbell didn't show. All right, y'all give a round of applause for our beginner flat top. In third place from Gallatin, Tennessee, Mr. Cam Campbell Collier. You gonna take your bow? In second place, from Springfield, Tennessee, Miss Reagan Brown. And your beginner flat top champion from Fort Payne, Alabama, Emmanuel Roberts. Got it. Slide behind them, Bill. We got a, one more, a dad photo. Over that way. Over that way. We got a dad photo. Thank you. I'm old and I can't hear. What? What? Am I done? Hey, 
Because yeah. Uncle Mickey's there. Yes. And then there's a Nolan Turner Award, right? Yes, overall, but nobody coming from his family. We need any members of the Driver family to be backstage, please. Driver family. You all will be here. You got more coming with you, Mickey? Uh, about four more. Okay. You stand over here with Luke. Okay, I appreciate it. We don't have names on the check, so you're good. <laughs> All right, folks, this is our two of our three finalists for beginner fiddle. They did a good job. A great job. An excellent job. Watch this. I'll make your camera angle even better. All right. In third place from Tullahoma, Tennessee, Miss Abigail Ward. In second place, and before I tell you this, so this trophy that you're going to be getting for the, you're going to be named whoever wins the beginner fiddle champion, okay? In addition to that, you will also receive the James G. Bobo Driver Memorial Trophy. And he is one of the founders of the Jamboree, and it was with his insight, and I believe it was around 1974, it was a few years after the original Jamboree started, it was with his insight that he decided that we needed a place to bring up new musicians. And so with his insight, we have the National Championship of Country Musician Beginners. That's not something that just goes with us. That's something we've been given privilege to announce and to give that award away and that is in his memory he passed away shortly after one of the jamborees uh not long after it had been going and so we have members of his family here to help present that award today in second place from nashville tennessee is that both of y'all oh okay the last name is Eddings, Eddington, the blah, 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 blah. Eddington, right? Edding, Edgington. I'll get it right in a minute. It's the first name that matters for second place, right? And first place? All right. Let's try this again. In second place, from Nashville, Tennessee, Ed, Edgington. It is Miss... Cadence. And your beginner fiddle champion in 2023, also the winner of the James G. Bobo Driver Memorial Trophy, goes to Miss Summer Edgington. Y'all give her a round of applause. And then if you will go ahead and accept your award, this award's being presented on behalf of, from James G. Driver, James G. Bobo Driver's son, Mickey. We need Miss Reagan Brown to come side stage, please, Miss Reagan Brown.
Absolutely. What's all about? Once again, we need Reagan Brown to the side stage. Miss Reagan Brown. And then once the driver family steps away, we're going to take one more picture with Dave and his girls for him. Hey, girls. Cadence Summer. Hang on. Cadence Summer. 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 Come here. Come here. Summer Edgington. I know. All right, y'all, we're going to do one more photo here, and uh, we're going to get Mr. Dave's phone. It's not every day, I don't believe, that we have winner, a first and second place that's sisters, and their dad accompanying them both. So if we can get them, and, and their mom is not here, she's playing a gig, so we're going to get a good photo for her, to, for them to send to her. Y'all give them one more round of applause. Thank y'all. Congratulations. We have one last award we want to present. Ms. Reagan, would you join me out here? With this award that we're going to give out right now, it's the Nolan Turner Memorial Award for the National Championship of Country Music Musician Beginners Best Overall Entertainer. Now, you don't know Mr. Nolan, but I did. And Mr. Nolan had a, had a vision of what he wanted this jamboree to, to be, and part of it, it was a community event, but he always wanted children and youth to be recognized. And one of his things he used to do when he was an insurance salesman is he would know if there's a child in the community when their birthday was. He would mark it and put it in a, what they would call a tickler file, and you would get a birthday card every year from Mr. Nolan Turner because he thought it was important that kids and youth knew they were valued and important. And he brought that sense of responsibility to the jamboree. And Reagan, it's no doubt you've had a residency on this stage and you are this year's Entertainer of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, give Miss Reagan Brown a round of applause. All right, we will be moving into our bluegrass banjo. I'm going to take a break. Okay. Now, what time do we always be back up here? I don't know. We need to, we need to find out about uh, the blue blades. So, that's still up in flux. Brandon just said everything's running like normal, finals for everything. So, except for square dance, I think. Let them know we're only doing one square dance, please. Okay. All right, folks, y'all want to hear some banjo picking? All right, this is our bluegrass banjo. Yesterday, if you were here, you got to see our old-time banjo. Let me find the rules sheet, and I'll tell you what the difference is. I know with the old-time banjo, there was no pick. Obviously, then you can use a pick today. All right. The bluegrass banjo, the tradi this tradition emphasizes the three-finger roll and may include melodic, 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 yeah, melodic style and a single string inter interludes. The use of scrugs and detuners are not permitted. There's some more stuff in there. If you want to read our rules, grab a tabloid. Over to my left, your right, or you can go to smithfulljamboree.com. All right, judges, you ready? Audience, are you ready? 
We're going to start with a Smithle boy. Yeah. Judges, he is contestant number 171. Y'all, welcome to the stage and give a big round of applause for Mr. Axel Rico. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We're going to do you a, a, no, a number that was on a Larry Sparks record uh, called Richmond. You ready, Ralph? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Here we go. That's one way to kick off this bluegrass banjo competition. Good job, Axel. Axel is newly married. His bride is out there in the audience. Hi, Caitlin. All right, that was contestant number 171 from Smithfield, Tennessee. Up next, she comes to us from Florence, Alabama. She didn't get lost and wind up here. She meant to be here. She is contestant number 169. Number 169. Welcome to the stage, Miss Julie Keaton. Hey, Smithville. How are you doing tonight? I'm going to do a little song called Dear Old Dixie. Julie Keaton from Florence, Alabama, contestant number 169. Up next from Chattanooga, Tennessee, he will be contestant number 167. 
Number 167. If you see a flagpole missing its flag, he's got it by his shoulders. Contestant number 167 from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Y'all give a good warm welcome to Mr. Cody Harvey. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you forgot to do your uh, Pledge of Allegiance this morning, you now have the opportunity. Thank you so much. We're going to do a little Doug, uh, Doug Dillard tune, uh, one called Doug's Tune. Thank you so much. Great job, Mr. Cody Harvey. Your mobile American flag. All right. From Manchester, Tennessee, this fella has a great first name. He is contestant number 165. His first name is Alex, and his last name is Davis. Give him a round of applause. I'm going to be playing um, Follow the Leader. <laughs> Are you sure? Can I see your driver's license to prove it? Don't have one. Good job. Give him a round of applause. Alex Davis from Manchester, Tennessee. <laughs> Mr. Kenneth Lusk. Kenneth Lusk, we have something that belongs to you. 
We have found something belongs to you. If you will visit the tent to my left, your right, you probably don't want to go far without this. Our next contestant from Smithville, Tennessee. He is contestant number 153. Number 153. Please welcome Mr. Jordan Judkins. Yeah. Thank you for that round of applause. I really needed it. I'm going to play for you a really old song called Goodbye Liza Jane, Don Reno's version. Mr. Jordan Judkins from Smithville, Tennessee. We need Mr. James Knight to come backstage and get prepped. Never mind, he's here. I announced it like y'all told me to, though. You're welcome. All right. Next up from Bradyville, Tennessee, he is contestant number 137. Number 137. Let him hear you, he is Sawyer Barrett. Mr. Sawyer Barrett. Good job. Our next contestant from Grootley Lager, Tennessee. Anybody know where Grootley Lager is? It is up in high altitude. All right, from Grootley Lager, Tennessee. He is contestant number 128, number 128. Y'all welcome Mr. James Knight. Thank y'all. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. All right, appreciate it. Gonna pick you a tune I played here 33 years ago. Yeah, there you go. 
uh, written by Gary Davis, Gary Biscuit Davis, I believe it's called Crown Junction Breakdown. Ready to run? Keep coming off. <laughs> Mr. James Knight from Grootla Lager, Tennessee. Up next from Cullioka, Tennessee. He is contestant number 98, number 98. This is Mr. Luke Patterson. <laughs> All, right. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? Good to hear it. All right. I want to thank the sound guys up here for making us sound good up here first. And then, uh, yeah. So I'm going to play y'all a uh, Jimmy Martin tune here called Theme Time. Ready, Lauren? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Mr. Luke Patterson from Cullioka, Tennessee. Our next contestant from Athens, Tennessee. He is a former beginner top overall instrumentalist winner of the Nolan Turner Award. From Athens, Alabama. Judges, he is contestant number 89, number 89. Y'all welcome Connor McMeans. The song I'm going to play is El Camachero. Thank you. 
there, Connor McMeans. Good job. There's smoke rolling from those fingers. All right. Folks, just like yesterday, the, ru the rain didn't ruin the taters. This is contestant number 89. Just kidding, this is contestant number 83. Number 83. He's from Cookville, Tennessee. Rack that banjo, boy. Yeah, make me proud. Yo, welcome, Mr. Trenton Taylor Carruthers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I ain't got to be on the stage as much today. Water partially ruined the tater, but not that bad. Uh, I kept my eyes on it, though. Gonna play one that uh, Earl Scruggs released back in the 1950s, one called the Ground, Ground Speed. Others from Cookville, Tennessee. Good job. I, I noticed it. I'm holding it to, to the best part. All right, from Fayetteville, Tennessee. He is contestant number 78. Number 78. This is our bluegrass banjo competition. Y'all give it up for Mr. Jace Crook. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna shuck a little corn for you.
Mr. Jace Crook, good job, sir. Up next from Winchester, Tennessee. He is contestant number 75, judges number 75. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Chuck Holcombs. All right, here we go. I'm going to play Ghost Riders in the Sky. Contestant number 75, Mr. Chuck Holcombs. We've got two contestants left in our bluegrass banjo. This is contestant number 48 from Cookville, Tennessee. Contestant number 48. Y'all welcome Mr. Brock Ely. get all situated here. How are you folks doing tonight? Good. What a good crowd here in DeKalb County. Folks, I'd like to pick you a song here that uh, Dr. Ralph Stanley recorded. It's one half of the original Stanley Brothers back in the Mercury years in 1955, I do believe. And this is a song he wrote and recorded with his brother Carter. And this is one called Hard Times. I hope you enjoy it.
folks very much. Good job. Contestant number 48 from Cookville, Tennessee, Mr. Brock Ely. Our last contestant in the bluegrass banjo from Elkton, Kentucky. Judges, he is contestant number... He is contestant number 24. Y'all welcome back to the stage, Mr. Noah Goble. Okay, we're going to do the Shenandoah Valley Breakdown. There we go, ready? Contestant number 24, Mr. Noah Goble from Elkton, Kentucky. We want to take a moment to recognize our sponsors of this session for the Jamboree. Risher Roofing. Risher Roofing has been so blessed to have the opportunity to invest in Smithville, Tennessee. You can now visit our third location located downtown on West Broad Street. We are Middle Tennessee's most trusted roofing systems installers. Risher Roofing offers... Free inspections, free estimates, stop by our store or give us a call at 931-284-8841 to upgrade your largest asset, your home. At Risher Roofing, we've got you covered. Also, Liberty State Bank, we're thrilled to announce Liberty State Bank as an official sponsor of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. As part of the Citizens Bank family, Liberty State Bank has a long-standing history of community support. At Liberty State Bank, we believe in the power of personalized service and building relationships that last. Whether you're saving for the future, planning for retirement, or starting a new business venture, we have the deposit products and financial services to meet your needs. With our competitive interest rates, you can watch your savings grow while enjoying peace of mind. Our knowledgeable team of experts is here to guide you every step of the way, ensuring that your financial goals are within reach as a community bank, we take pride in reinvesting in the areas we serve, supporting our local businesses and giving back to the community that has always supported us. Thank you from Liberty State Bank. We will make sure we don't have a tie. Folks, we're going to be doing a drawing here shortly. We want you to get your ticket. Get your ticket to win the raffle item, gift basket, Pontoon rental, Grand Ole Opry tickets, rocking chairs, Nashville Predator tickets, much, much more. One for a dollar, six for five dollars, fifteen for ten dollars. To my left, your right, just beside the speakers, see Carson with the red, white, and blue hat. We appreciate WJLE Radio of Smithville. They have been with us since day one. Day one, they had a total of 17 hours on air to cover the first Jamboree back in 1972, and they've been here every year since. You can visit them online at WJLE.com or on your radio dial, 101.7 FM, 1480 AM. We're good. No ties in the bluegrass banjo. We need all junior fiddlers to... Go backstage and check in with Miss Beth. We are proud to have DTC a part of our Jamboree this year. They're proud to sponsor our 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddlers Jamboree with high-speed fiber internet, phone, 
TV and security services. They've been managing relationships for over 70 years. Stop by or come see them at the local office nearest you. Visit them online at dtccom.net. All right. Y'all ready for some fiddling? Y'all ready for some fiddling? It's getting better. Y'all ready for some fiddling? All right, let's get going in our junior fiddle competition. Judges, the audience has spoken, okay? It's not me. It's them. All right. Judges, we're going to go to 166. 166 will be our first one. Ladies and gentlemen, from Nashville, Tennessee, this is contestant number 166. Number 166. Y'all put your hands together and welcome Mr. Andrew Goodell. All right, I'm Andrew, and I'll be playing red-haired boy. Contestant number 166, number 166, Mr. Andrew Goodell from Nashville, Tennessee. As we go through our junior fiddle competition, the contestants will be playing one song in the preliminaries. The judges will be looking at emphasis on clarity, tone, timing, execution, and adherence to old time authenticity. They will be looking into the authenticity, the rhythm and timing, the execution, difficulty and tone and mastery, and then the expression and feeling. Judges, this is going to be 172. Well, unless you want me to stand. 172. We jump around just to see if y'all are still awake. Okay. He is from Red Bank, Tennessee. All right, we're not starting just yet. He's got a good one. All right, he's from Red Bank, Tennessee, contest number 172. His name is Connor Valistra. All right. Thank you. I'm going to play a tune called Old Joe. Right now.
job. Contest number 172, Mr. Connor Valistra. Next up, judges. This is contestant number 129. 129. I told you we're jumping around to make sure you're paying attention. Do what? Might confuse you. It don't take much to confuse y'all, does it? All right. One, two, nine. All right. She is from Johnson City, Tennessee. Put your hands together for Miss Lucy Smith. All right, now I made the mistake, okay? This is 126, six, this many, yep. Hang on just a second. Thank you for correcting me. You could have had a check made out to the wrong person. All right, this is contestant number 126, judges. She is from Monterey, Tennessee. Please welcome Miss Lizzie Stewart. I'm going to play Jump in the Creek. Job. Contest number 126, Miss Lizzie Stewart. This next gentleman, he comes from Cookville, Tennessee. By Highway 111. In the northbound lane. That's where he was born, folks. He is contestant number 83, number 83. You mind, uh, hey, you mind lower this mic? I, I bow. Okay, yeah. And the mic's too tall for him. All right, he's contestant number 83, folks. Yo, welcome back to the stage, Trenton Taylor Carruthers. <laughs> Here's a good old fiddle tune, one called uh, Indian Ridge.
Good job, Trenton Taylor Carruthers. Next up, contestant number 82, number 82. He is from Manchester, Tennessee. You ready? You sure? All right. This is Michael Klug. All right. I'm going to play a little bit of the old uh, flop eared meal. Contestant number 82, Michael Klug. Next up from Madison, Alabama, she is contestant number 74. Number 74. She is Nicole Tressler. Let me let me do that again. She didn't hear you. This is Nicole Tressler. This is Tom and Jerry.
Contestant number 74, Nicole Tressler. Folks, we're fixing to have a drawing. If you don't have a ticket, you can't win. So make sure you buy a ticket to my left, your right. Over here, see Carson, one for a dollar, six for five dollars, 15 for 10 dollars. Judges, we're skipping. Skipping 72. Skipping 72, going to 46. Judges, this is contestant number 46 from Nashville, Tennessee. Y'all welcome, Mr. Tyler Endall. I'm going to play a tune called The Three Forks of the Sandy. Awesome job, Mr. Tyler Andall. We need Joe Overton to come backstage. Joe Overton, if you're going to be in the junior fiddle, we need you backstage. Joe Overton. Judges, this is contestant number 38. Number 38. Number 38. She is from Cookville, Tennessee. Folks, welcome to the stage, Miss Emma Tinch. Yeah. I'm going to be playing Jerusalem Ridge. Thank you. 
Nice job, contestant number 38 from Cookville, Tennessee, Miss Emma Tinch. She on the north side of 111? 10 miles up. Well, we appreciate you traveling this way. All right, judges. Four, two. This is contestant number 42. He is from Smithville, Tennessee. He is from Nashville, Tennessee. And he needs a guitar player. Yep. Hey, sorry for the lay there. We got, got All right. our kids into bed about three minutes ago and ran over, so we, we just made it. So. All right, folks, this is Mr. Joe Overton, <laughs> contest number 42. All right, here's one called Going to Western Country. Oh, wait, that's not it. Hold on. Um, there we go. He is Joe Overton. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage from Elton, Kentucky, judges as contestant number 2424. From Elton, Kentucky, make welcome Noah Gobo. Do Sally Good.
ladies and gentlemen, he's Noah Goble from Elton, Kentucky. He's also our reigning champion. Coming back a little bit later tonight in our bluegrass banjo as we wait to make sure we don't have a tie in the junior fiddle. And our bluegrass banjo finalist for later tonight in order of appearance from earlier today or just a few minutes ago. Contestant number 171 from Smithville, Tennessee, Axel Rico. Contestant number 167 from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Cody Harvey. And contestant number 165 from Manchester, Tennessee, Alex Davis. That's Alex Davis, Cody Harvey, and Axel Rico will be our finalists in the Bluegrass Banjo. All right, folks, we're going to make sure we have no tie. You don't know? All right, we're going to do a drawing while we're waiting on that. Let's see what we're going to draw for. We're going to draw for a rocker? Is that what you're telling me? Are, you, are we drawing for it or you're sitting in it? Oh, here's our list. I think we're just sitting in it right now. We're giving away a poster and a T-shirt from Adam Baker. We're giving away two Opry tickets, a gift basket from Creations by Donna. Also, we're giving a $50 gift basket away from Arts Garage. Another gift set from DeKalb County Florist. A CNS gift card, a Tennessee flag from Senator Bowling. A Twisted Oaks gift card. A harmonica and hat and a pontoon rental. A McDonald's gift card and a U.S. Army National Guard backpack. And a butter biscuit and strawberry jam. Is it already made? That I don't know. I don't know, but if it is, I wouldn't eat it with as many hands as it goes through. We need Michael Farrell and Jake Patty to be backstage getting ready for our next competition. Flat top guitar, Michael Farrell and Jake Patty. All right, who wants to win an item? All right, good. All three people. All right, got a ticket here. I got a yellow ticket. Ticket number 104-02340. Last five is 02340. I got to hear you loud and clear. Yellow ticket 02340. We're going fast. We're going once. Zero, two, three, four, zero. Yellow ticket going twice. Zero, two, three, four, zero. Going back in the bucket. Green ticket. Zero, nine, two, nine, nine, eight, five, five. Green ticket, nine, nine, eight, five, five. Do we have a winner? What are we giving them this time? A poster? Poster and a t-shirt. Pair them together. Poster and a t-shirt. Poster and a t-shirt. 99855. Do we have that ticket? I heard somebody hollering, but I don't know if it was a ticket holler or if it was a... A wasp got after him. Nine nine eight five five going once. Nine nine eight five five going twice. See, this folks is why you buy a ticket. Nine nine eight five five back in the bucket. Green ticket zero nine two nine 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 two one. Green ticket nine 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 two one. Green ticket nine 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 two one. Green ticket nine 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 two one going once. Nine 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 two one going twice. Gone. Next one. Green ticket zero nine two nine nine eight seven one. Green ticket nine nine eight seven one. Oh, we have somebody. Or you're just saying hello to someone. You're saying hello. Well, tell them hi for me. Are you going to the bathroom? Nine nine eight seven one. Do you I have a shortcut? You can up up on stage. 
99871. Going once. Oh. 99871. Going twice. Awesome. I didn't hear you. Let me hear you. Oh, there we She's go. She's right there, Alex. Right She's there. right I said I saw you the whole time. I did, too. Oh, boy. Where are you from? Smithville. Smithville. Well, thanks for coming and making the long trip. Here is a poster okay. Okay. and T-shirt. Uh, I met her last night. She got, she's going canoeing. We're going canoeing. If that T-shirt doesn't fit, you can go to booth number one and swap it out. Awesome. Okay. Creations yes, by Donna Gift Basket. All right, next we're going to draw for something. Creations by Donna Gift Basket. This is a yellow ticket. Yellow ticket number 104-02294. Yellow ticket 02294. No. Yellow ticket 02294 going once. Yellow ticket zero two two nine. Oh, hey, hey, four. we got somebody. We got, somebody we got somewhere. someone. Where are they at? He's over here. He's in the Justin Noakes section. Justin Noakes is here. He's the reigning champion of the Grant James Fan Club Fantasy Football League. We're honored to have him. Everyone give Justin a round of applause. Does he have the ticket or is he just. Oh, this man right here has the oh, ticket. Okay, I see. I was looking, I was off. Well, with these lights, it's like we're just speaking to a train coming right at us. That's it. you got a gift basket, sir. Where are you from? Appreciate you making the long trip, too, from Smithville. All let's, right. Let's get next away. one. Gift basket from Arts Garage. Gift basket from Arts Garage. Yellow ticket 104-02082. Yellow ticket 02082. Yellow ticket, the last five of it is zero two zero eight two. Yellow ticket zero two zero eight two going once. Zero two zero eight two going twice. Zero two zero eight two gone. All right, got another yellow ticket. Yellow ticket number 104-02288. Yellow ticket 02288. Yellow ticket 02288. Yellow ticket. Oh, we got somebody. You got to look more excited than that. Did you? Okay. Oh, well, we got a winner, winner. We shouldn't give it to them if we don't hear them loud and clear. I mean, if they're not excited jumping up and down like it's well, price, I want to hurt themselves. Like it's Price is Right. That's it. Where are you from? Nashville. Nashville Stars. I like that hat. Can I have it? I'll give a gift card for it. All right. Thank you for coming. Hand me another one. Let's do the CNS gift card paired with the state flag. All right. This time... Tell us what we got, Vanna. We have a state flag presented to you by the state senator, Janice Bullitt of Coffee County, who apparently represents Gap County, too, because we got left out in that one. Um, also, they're giving the parent with a CNS gift card, uh, which is a local f um, ground beef, um, steaks, everything. Beefy. Meat market. Yes. Meat market. Fresh that's what, meat that's market. what we call it. Yellow ticket 104-02219. Yellow ticket 02219. Yellow ticket 02219. We got a winner? We got a winner. He just come up here. Oh, boy. This is why you buy tickets. Oh, somebody just because is you win rolling one. in the dough tonight. That's his second one in this drawing. Hope you like flags and meat. That's what you want. It's a good thing you from Smithville because I'm pretty sure CNS is already closed. That's it. Let's go, Emmy. 
I'm Mr. Rim, but he's the winner. Okay. <laughs> All right, next one. This is a green ticket. What do we draw? What are we winning for? Let's go with a Twisted Oaks gift card and a harmonica. We have a gift card from Twisted Oaks restaurant on the west side of town, just right outside of town. Anybody eaten at Twisted Oaks before? If you haven't, we encourage you to try it. They're great, great food, and we are doing a harmonica from Honer Harmonica and a hat that they have donated with the Twisted Oaks gift card. This is a green ticket, 0929-99944. Green ticket, 99944. Over here. Where are you from? Hendersonville. That's up Nashville area, ain't it? Well, thank you for coming. Did you find that monkey, cow, horse? It's a cow. I can't see because of the hat. All right. You get a hat, a harmonica, and a gift card. You come back and eat at Twisted Oaks. Now, listen. Make sure you play the harmonica all the way home. Let's do this. Okay? And then you can come back next year for our harmonica competition. Okay. That's right. All right. Can I have a ticket? We're giving away a Army National Guard backpack, but inside it, we'll have some biscuit jam and and a biscuit mix and jelly in the backpack. Okay. This is ticket number. It's a yellow ticket. One zero four zero two zero five four. Yellow ticket zero two zero five four. Yellow ticket zero two zero five four. Going once. I heard someone. We got somebody. Somebody's got a ticket. Tammy. We let them in. Hope it's not the devil. It be All right. Is that it? We no, we got more stuff. Alex, we got more stuff to give away. All right. Give me a ticket. As he's coming up. Here, let me have yours. Oh. These lights are so bright. Yes, sir. There we go. Where are you from? Short Mountain. We appreciate you coming down to down the hill just a little bit. All right. We have Opry tickets and a gift card to CNS Market, Meat Market. Anybody want to go to the Opry? Because if you do, you'll see the youth square dancing team of Smithville Select there. That's right. All right, this is a green ticket, 0929-9862. Green ticket, 99862. Oh, we got a winner. We got a winner. Or you want to bid on something. Where you at? There where are you from, sir? Buffalo Valley. Yes, sir. There you go. You're going to the opera. Have you been before? Well, you're going again. When are we going? Okay, just call me. It's two tickets, so me and you. Or if you want it to be you and me, either way. Okay. We have a gift basket from DeKalb County Flores which pairs really nicely with a pontoon boat rental from Hidden Harbor Marina. Who's been on Center Hill Lake before? Woo! Okay, who has not been on Center Hill Lake before? Put it on your bucket list, okay? If this isn't you, put it on your bucket list. Beautiful place. Green ticket 0929-9941. Green ticket, 99941. Oh, we got somebody. We got somebody. Someone's going to Center Hill Lake. Are you from Hendersonville, too? You with them? Listen, have you been to Center Hill Lake before? Well, you're going again. Do you have a boat? Well, then you can give this to a friend, and they can pay for the gas, and they can play with you on the lake. Or... You can give it to an announcer 
from the Jamboree. Which, which one are you going to do? You want to give it to an announcer? Okay, okay. You need to learn to share. <laughs> That's all we got. All right, thank you. That's all we got right now. Put that back in. That's all. All right. And while you're floating on Center Hill Lake, y'all can play the harmonica. All right, folks. Who was here earlier when we gave away our awards from yesterday? Okay, who was not here? Well, if you were here yesterday, you heard us talking about a surprise we had. We had something cooking that was really exciting, something I don't think we've ever done before. We have partnered with the Opry Dancers. And our youth square dance team that won yesterday, which is the Smithville Select, will be obliged and has been invited to go to the Opry and dance with our Opry dancers. We had great help in getting that lined up by Bubba Richardson and Marcia Campbell, but also from former Opry dancer, Miss Tammy Judkins. Center stage here. If you follow us on Facebook, on, on uh, Instagram, on TikTok, this is your host, Miss Tammy Judkins. If you don't follow us, go on your phone right now and follow us. We want you to keep up with it. All right? We don't know what day. They have to work that out. Uh, also, our grand fiddle champion from tonight after our fiddle off, they will be working with the Opry to go and play at the Opry as well. So really cool partnership that we have. But we need to make a TikTok video of our fans, right? Wow, yes, y'all are excited. Yes, yes, the answer is yes. Okay, let's try to. We need to make a TikTok video with our fans. <laughs> She's got to get up to the edge of the lights. But here's what we need, okay? We normally do like a big welcome, but the rain kind of threw that off a little bit. So we're going to do a big welcome to the 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree, and you're going to jump up out of your chairs. Okay, stand up. Scream, holler, wave your arms, clap, and be as loud as you can, okay, after I give the big introduction. All right? Everybody ready? You got to be loud because we, we only get one take. All right, ready? Welcome to the 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree and Crafts Festival. Woo! Yeah! We're here in downtown Smithville. We are the official jamboree of the state of Tennessee and Crafts Festival, and we're glad you're here. That was pretty good. We that didn't even really have good. to practice. Because we really could have done as many takes as we wanted to, truth be told. But y'all yeah. were great. Y'all were great. Hey, did y'all enjoy the junior fiddle? Y'all want to hear who's coming back tonight? All right, tell us, Luke. We have a round of applause from Nashville, Tennessee, Tyler Endel. A round of applause from Smithville, Tennessee, Joe Overton. And he'll see if he can go back to back because we're bringing back from Elton, Kentucky, Noah Gobel. <laughs> Judges, are we ready for flat top guitar? Miss Vicky, are we ready for flat top? Okay. I can do it. All right. Let me. What's that first one we're skipping? Mine's 68. Judges, we're skipping 168. Skipping the first one, going to the next one. We are moving to flat top guitar. So, Y'all give up writing your cheat numbers down because we're messing with you so much. Good answer. I like it when you're dependent upon us a little bit. So, judges, this is contestant number 163. 163. From Manchester, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Dakota Lowen.
Second cord. Can you bend down here? Yes, sir. I'm trying to remember. All right. Grass in the Backwoods by Kenny Baker. He is Jake, excuse me, he is Dakota Lowen from Manchester, Tennessee. Judges coming on to the stage from Lexington, Kentucky. He's contestant number 158-158. He is Jake Patty. I'm going to be playing a tune by the great Don Reno called Tarnation. from Lexington, Kentucky. Great job, Jake. Coming on to the stage now, judges. It's contestant number 153-153 from Smithville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jordan Judkins. Well, 
folks, I'm back again. Me and Tater both. We're gonna try to do a little guitar picking, or at least I am. I ain't doing nothing but sitting here. <laughs> he said he ain't doing nothing but sitting here, and that's the darndest truth if I ever heard it. I'm gonna do for you a song called The Freight Train Boogie. He is Jordan Jenkins from Smithville, Tennessee. Up next, from Rock Island, he is contestant number 144-144. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage, Joshua Young. Uh, I'll be doing In the Suite by and by. Excuse me, he is Joshua Young from Rock Island, Tennessee. Great job. Up next on the stage, we need Joseph Stewart. Joseph? We need Joseph Stewart. Judges. This is contestant number 124-124 from Monterey, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joseph Stewart. I'm going to play Salt Creek.
He is Joseph Stewart. Up next, we need Pat Van Goren. Judges, this is contestant number 101-101 from Eagleville, Tennessee. Give it up for Peck Van Gorder. I'm going to do Westphalia Waltz. There's no vocals. <laughs> Ready? Ready?
He is Pat Van Gorder from Eagleville, Tennessee. Up next, judges from Athens, Alabama. Welcome back to the stage, contestant number 8888, Ty McMeans. First song we'll play is Ladies Fancy. from Athens, Alabama. Coming onto the stage now from Woodbury, Tennessee, judges. It's contestant number 6767. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for Miss Holly Smith. Well, I'm a little nervous. This is my first year here. I've only been playing a year and a half, and it's just a little step that I put together.
She is Holly Smith. Great job, Holly. Great job. Up next, from our neighbors over in Cookville, Tennessee, judges. This is contestant number 48. 48. From Cookville, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage, Mr. Brock Ely. Right here. Out of work. Thank you again, folks. It's a pleasure to be with you and to entertain you a little bit more here on the stage in the Flat Top Guitar Contest. I'd like to go back and do you a traditional uh, song here. It's kind of an old time song done in bluegrass down through the years, and we're going to turn it into an instrumental for you on the guitar. Hope you enjoy one here, an old style song that the Carter family wrote long ago, done on the guitar here. This is one called The Weeping Willow. Thank you, folks. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. He is Brock Ely from Cookville, Tennessee. Coming back to the stage. Once again from Elkton, Kentucky. He is contestant number 24. Judges 2-4 from Elkton, Kentucky. Make him welcome, everyone, Mr. Noah Goble. All right, we're going to do Foggy Mountain Special. Here we go, ready? Who taught you how to play guitar, Chet Atkins? 
Heck of a job. That's Noah Goble. And up next, he is the ambassador of the Smithville Fiddlers Jamboree. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big Jamboree welcome to contestant number one. Give him a big round of applause, Mr. Rob Piercy. Oh, well, I guess one more time I'll play for you the old uh, Bill Monroe classic, The Kentucky Waltz. Officially, and I don't know if this is true, so it's all unofficial, but I think he's the most award-winning performer in the Smithville Filler Jamboree history. Give Mr. Piercy another round of applause. Thank you, Rob. Well, did you like that guitar picking? 
Oh, it's only going to get a little bit better. We got contest fiddle coming up after this. Then we'll move into the bluegrass band and senior fiddle. And then we'll have square dancing. Are y'all excited for some square dancing? It's my favorite event. I get so excited for it. We want to thank once again to Cap Telephone Cooperative for broadcasting our jamboree. They have just gone out of their way to make sure that we have the best coverage possible, not just here locally, but you can stream it uh, worldwide. I have a, actually a, a kinfolk person who's down in Costa Rica right now who's watching it with us. So we are thankful for DTC for what you do. We also are honored to have WJ Lee once again with us, broadcasting us from the start off to the fiddle off. WJ Lee's been here all 52 years. And Dwayne Page, um, who takes pictures, writes stories, he will have the up-to-minute news on this festival. Go to WJLee.com to get those parents, especially if you have loved ones in this. That's where you'll get some good pictures of our winners and find out. Of course, WJLE is known for a lot of things. Great football coverage. Mr. John Pryor, he's a seven-time sportscaster of the year. We're honored to have Mr. Pryor. Everyone give a round of applause. John Pryor, everyone. Local legend, local legend. So y'all having fun so far? Okay, listen. I understand. It's a little sluggish. The fried food sitting in. We had to run away from a storm. We didn't know if we'd be back. But we made it. So we need to be thankful we made it. We need to get excited that we made it. Because we got a bunch of performers that are want, they're going to bring it. They want you to bring it. So when I say you're having fun, I want you to make the most noise possible. I want them to hear us all the way back in Liberty. Here we go. Are you having fun? That's right. That's right. That's right. We got contest fiddle coming up. As the judges are still tallying, making sure we have no ties, we want to bring to your attention this portion of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree is brought to you by Liberty State Bank. We're thrilled to announce Liberty State Bank as an official sponsor of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. Those are just fireworks. Do not worry. As part of the Citizens Bank family, Liberty State Bank has a long-standing, his, long-standing history of community support. At Liberty State Bank, we believe in the power of personalized service and building relationships that last. Whether you're saving for the future, planning for retirement, or starting a new business venture. We have deposit products and financial services to meet your needs. With our competitive interest rates, you can watch your savings grow while enjoying peace of mind. Our knowledgeable team of experts is here to guide you every step of the way, ensuring that your financial goals are within reach. As a community bank, we take pride in reinvesting in the areas we serve supporting local businesses and giving back to the community that has always supported us. Thank you from Liberty State Bank. Also, this portion of our jamboree is brought to you by Risher Roofing. Risher Roofing has been so blessed to have the opportunity to invest in Smithville. You can now visit our third location downtown on West Broad Street. We are in the middle of Tennessee's most trusted roofing system installers. Risher Roofing offers free inspections and free estimates. Stop by our store or give us a call at 931-284-8841 to upgrade your largest asset, your home. At Risha Roofing, we've got you covered. And we are still, we're good. Okay, contest fiddle. Make some noise. This is contest fiddle, but... The winner of this will be getting the Neil Dudney Award. So, up first in contest fiddle, judges is contestant number 166-166 from Nashville, Tennessee. Please welcome Mr. Andrew Goodall. All right, I'll be playing Jerusalem Ridge.
Thanks. He is Andrew Goodall from Nashville, Tennessee. Up next, judges. It's contestant number 82, 82 from Manchester, Tennessee. Everyone, please make welcome Mr. Michael Klug. I'm going to play Dusty Miller. Rotate that in inwards a little bit. Michael Klug from Manchester, Tennessee. Up next, from Rockville, Tennessee, she is contestant number 76, judges 7-6. Seven, Ladies and gentlemen from Rockville, Tennessee, please make welcome Sarah Harris. Be flat, is it? No, please not be flat. Okay. Y'all doing good? Woo! All right, I'm gonna play a tune you haven't heard before called Dusty Miller. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. She is Sarah Harris from Rockvale, Tennessee. Coming out of the stage now from Madison, Alabama, contestant number 74, judges 7-4. From Madison, Alabama, ladies and gentlemen, give a jamboree welcome to Nicole Tressler. This is Washington County. Time favorite songs right there. Great job. Great job, Nicole. Up next, from Nashville, Tennessee, judges. He's no stranger to the Jamboree stage. He's number 46. And before we announce him, let's actually announce finalists and flat top guitar. From Athens, Alabama, we'll have Ty McMeans. Hold on, hold on. You're good, you're good. From Elkton, Kentucky, Noah Goble. And from Smyrna, Tennessee, Rob Piercy. Finalists and flat cop guitar. Okay, now back to what we're doing here. Contest fiddle, ladies and gentlemen. He's contestant number 46 from Nashville, Tennessee, 4-6. Put your hands together for Tyler Randall. <laughs> Um, it's going to be first day in town. One, two, three.
He is Tyler Randall. If you have lost a phone, it will be over here at the Jamboree tent. And particularly, if your name is Wesley Young, we believe it's yours. From Woodbury, Tennessee. It will be over at the Jamboree tent. So not the merchandise tent, over here right next to the stage. So come pick that up if you've lost a phone, particularly if your name's Wesley Young. Okay, final contestant in contest fiddle. We have from Elton, Kentucky, judges. He's contestant number 24-2-4. From Elton, Kentucky, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Noah Goble. We're going to do Dusty Miller. Kentucky, assisted by Rob Piercy. Bluegrass Band coming up next. Bluegrass Band will need Blue, Blue Cove Mountain Grass, First Southern Flavor, Scruggs and Kisses. You will be the lineup of that. We want to say thank you to our sponsors so much. We want to shoot fireworks for them. From Marisha Roofing, as they have provided this portion of our Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree, we have been so blessed to have the opportunity to invest in Smithville. You can now visit our third location, located downtown on West Broad Street. We are Middle Tennessee's most trusted roofing system installers. Risha Roofing offers free inspections and free estimates. Stop by our store to give us a call at 931-284-8841 to upgrade your largest asset, your home. At Risha Roofing, we've got you covered. All right, folks, y'all still out there? Are y'all wondering why Luke looks like a groundhog squatted down behind the stand back there? That's because he is a groundhog. If, you're, if you uh, know much about the Keb County, we got groundhogs and mountain goats around here. But it is hard for us to see you all out there with these lights. But we are glad to have them. All right, we are fixing to move into our bluegrass band category as soon as we get clearance from the judge or tabulators 
If you don't have a ticket, we're going to be drawing here shortly. One raffle ticket could win you a gift to take home. It could be a rocking chair. It could be another pontoon rental that we have to give away. I'm not sure. I don't think we've given away Predator tickets today, but we may have. But we have some to draw from. I think we still have another set of Opry tickets. You want to be in for that drawing, so make sure you have a ticket. One for a dollar, six for five dollars, fifteen for ten dollars. Anybody been with us pretty much all day with the exception of the rain? Do y'all remember COVID and that six feet thing? If they've said they've been here all day, you might want six feet around them. They probably stink. We appreciate you coming this year to our jamboree. We're good on no tie. Y'all, this year's been a little bit unique with the weather. We've had hot. We've had nice, right? It's nice tonight. At least three people think so. There we go. And then we've had some rain. But we just have to roll with the musical notes and go with it. All right. Let's get our... This is the band portion, Axel. you got to have a band. Not a one-man band. There's uno, dos, tres. Oh, here comes more. All right. We don't have judges, though. Unless y'all want Timmy just to judge you by yourself. Hey, y'all can get set, but we don't have our judges yet. And they're bribing the judge by chanting his name. Anybody's first jamboree today? Good. Anybody been here more than five years? Ten years? Twenty? Twenty-five? Thirty-five? Fifty-five? You liars, this is a 52nd. But are you having a good time? Good deal. All right, we got two of five. We're making, we're making progress. We want to thank DTC for being a part of our broadcast wall-to-wall -wall coverage, partnering with the Jamboree. DTC Communications is proud to be a part of the 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddlers Jamboree. Watch live on YouTube channel DTC3 for wall-to-wall -wall coverage with high-speed fiber internet, phone, TV, and security services. DTC Communications have been making meaningful connections for over 70 years. They are your local community partner. Visit them online at dtccom.net for more information. Also, we want you to like us on Facebook so you can keep up with us all year long. Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. Find us on Facebook. Look for us on Instagram. Like us on TikTok. Just go for it all. But you can keep up with things through our website, smithfulljamboree.com. Also, mark your calendars July 5th and July 6th of 2024. We want you to be back with us next year, and we want you to bring somebody with you. Okay? Amen. All right. Welcome back, Mr. John. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. All right. Y'all ready for some bluegrass band? Come on now. Hey. Wow, it's up there. Okay. Are y'all ready for some bluegrass band? Yeah. Woo. <laughs> they are from Chattanooga. They are from Smithville. They are from... Yes. Winchester. Winchester. Walden's Ridge. Where are you from on the end? County Jail. Oh, County, County jail? jail? Okay. We got him for the night. We appreciate him getting on parole to be here. Judges, this is contestant number 174. Number 174. Ladies and gentlemen, to kick us off in our bluegrass band, welcome to the stage, Blue Cove Mountain Grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Test one, two, okay. All right, Axel, let's hear it. 
Next band coming up, First Southern Flavor. I tell you what, I don't know if it's the rain or what it is, but we've got some clever band names this evening. Yesterday we had some issues in the novelty event coming up with some clever names. We had like Angelica and Sarah, Brock and Tater. We got better names tonight. Let's tell you who's coming back in the contest fiddle, but let's go back where I can read them. All right. In the contest fiddle for the Neil Dudney Award, our finalist from Rockville, Tennessee, Miss Sarah Harris, contestant number 76. From Nashville, Tennessee, contestant number 46, Tyler Andall. And from Elkton, Kentucky, contestant number 24, Noah Goble. That is our finalist in the contest fiddle, Sarah Harris, Noah Goble, and Tyler Endall. All right. They say they're from Salem, Virginia. But I believe they're from different parts as well. From Salem, Virginia, this is contestants number 173, judges 173. You good, Chad? Okay. All right. Contestant number 173, they call themselves First Southern Flavor. No. <laughs> there's, there's more words to it. <laughs> There's more to do. Anyway, right, let's play Power in the Blood here, boys. Bye. 
Contestant number 173 from Salem, Virginia, First Southern Flavor. Folks, we don't want you to go anywhere tonight, okay? We have some square dancing coming up in just a few moments. We also have a performance that will be by our Blue Blaze Award winner, East Nash Grass. So we want you to hang around with us. Everybody wave at the camera in the middle. She's doing a panoramic or a video or FaceTime or something. Are you doing FaceTime? You should be here. Next year, make sure you come. Where are they from? Oh, that's not that far. But you can go to smithfulljamboree.com and you can watch it live from a link on there, okay? All right. But we've got plenty of fun left, so make sure you hang around. All right, judges, this is contestant number... ...164. Contestant number 164. They are... From Rockville, Smyrna, Nashville. I can't see where else from. Fayetteville. As she said, Fayetteville. Contest number 164. Put your hands together for Scruggs and Kisses. All right, y'all. We figured we'd uh, do one by the great and late. Flatten Scruggs, as she won, called Head Over Heels.
Great job. They were Scruggs and Kisses. Did y'all enjoy them? Tell them about it. Tell them again. This is Sarah's phone. All right. Everybody on three, say hi, Sarah. One, two, three. All right. Here's your phone. There you go. She's crazy anyway. All right. Let's see, judges, we're, we're skipping numbers here. 151. 151 is our next one. Hey, I need you to sit down. Stay out of the way. This is your next bluegrass band from Fort Payne, Alabama. <laughs> they are contestant number 151 number 151 it's brought up here ain't it you know what a good song be right now is I see the light not Saul, because we see it right now. All right, folks, they are contestant number 151 from Fort Payne, Alabama. Put your hands together for the Huckleberries. Thank you. Um, I, I'd like to say um, this is actually our first time being here, and we've really enjoyed ourselves. Um, we just decided yesterday that we'd do the band, and... Um, we are we're only a three-piece band, and we uh, we'd like to thank Angela Wood for um, offering to play bass for us. So, ready? All right.
Good job from Fort Payne, Alabama. They call themselves the Huckleberries. Thank you. All right. Come on up, next band, Tri State. Ansley's. Our next contestants are contestants number 142. Uno, cuatro, dos. One, four, two. They are from Kentucky. They are from Tennessee. They are from Alabama. And they come up with the creative name, the Tri-State Ramblers. Wait, did you say Kentucky, Tennessee, and Alabama? Yeah. Huh? I only heard Alabama. No, I got them all. <laughs> a little bit. Contestants number 142. I beat you. I know. I need a mic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. This is the Tri-State Ramblers. All right, we're going to do You Can Have Him.
Good job, contestants number 142, the Tri-State Ramblers. All right. Are y'all going off a sheet down there? Kind of, sort of, not really. We're skipping the next one. They didn't show. All right. Our last group in the bluegrass band. It's Folks, if you're here and you have not got a ticket, a raffle ticket, we've got Opry tickets. We've got the rocker that Luke is breaking in for you. See, it rocks back and forth. It'll hold a lot of weight. That's right. I've tried it out, too. Grab a ticket, one for a dollar, six for five dollars, 15 for ten dollars. Just be on the speakers right there to my left, your right. We're going to be doing a drawing shortly. You do have to be present to win. So all those people that went home earlier didn't come back, they can't win. So your chances are better unless you don't have a ticket. So make sure you get your tickets. Y'all see Tater down there on the end? Tater turned to a mater. And he can't find me either. Taters are made her. All right. This is contestants number. I forgot your number. Hang on. Check, 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 check. One, two. Check one, two, check. Check one. Check, check. Contestants number 51. They are from Hillham, Tennessee. They call themselves Clearview. Please give them a welcome. Thank you, folks, very much. It's good to be back on the stage we here. Clearview would like to pick you a song now made famous by the Stanley Brothers and the Clinch Mountain Boys of Bluegrass Music back in the early 1950s. This is a classic song. I hope you'll enjoy one called Our Last Goodbye Today. Darling, hope our last goodbye today. 
Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Folks, they are contestant number 51, Clearview from Hillham, Tennessee, a.k.a. the Red Hot Maters, with a tater. All right, we're going to make sure we don't have a tie. Anybody following along on the schedule? Do y'all know what's going on? Because I'm kind of confused. All right, so here's the rule, or here's the deal. As soon as we make sure there's no tie, we're going to skip the senior fiddle. We have two contestants in the senior fiddle. So guess who's going to the finals? Those people. Those people. Rob Piercy and Sarah Harris will be coming back for our senior fiddle finalists. They're really good people. Well, yeah, yeah, give a round of applause for them. Good grief. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. So they will be coming back to compete in the finals for the senior fiddle. Our finalist in the junior fiddle and the senior fiddle, they will be playing two songs, a breakdown and a waltz. And then we have our house band coming up in just a moment, as long as we don't have a tie in the bluegrass band. I wouldn't mind a tie. What about y'all? They did pretty good. That was fun to watch. What's after senior fiddle? Anybody know? Square dancing. Anybody want to see some square dancing? We've got three adult teams. And then after they perform, we have an exhibition by our 2023 Youth Square Dance team. So we got a bonus for you. Is that okay? And then we will be moving into our finals for Old Time Appalachian Flatfoot, Senior Buck Dancing, Senior Clogging, and then the Duo Square Dancing. Duo clogging, excuse me. Anybody here for the duo clogging today? Did y'all like that? That's the first time at the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree, so we look forward to that event growing and, and continuing to get better. All right, we have no tie. Let's go ahead and get our house band moving up. Did you turn the speakers? Can you make sure you... Yeah, until we're just waiting. The 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 There's no time. I'm looking. Okay, I'm just making sure you go check on the I can't see. It's behind. Hey, it's behind the table, I think. It's falling down. All right, we're going to judge swap out. Y'all give our musician judges a round of applause, please. Stay tuned for more of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree on DTC3, coming up next. Stay tuned for more of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree on DTC3, coming up next. Welcome back into Hot Off the Stage. We're here with Noah and Justin. Now, I'm, I'm speaking here with the, the fiddle champion this past year and, and then two years ago as well, right? Uh, talk about what it felt like to win it in, in each of those years. Well, uh, for me, it was wonderful, you know, because I was, I was only 13 when I won it. So, it, I mean, competing against guys of all ages, it was just, just wonderful. Well, I'd, I'd echo that. It was a wonderful feeling. And uh, I, th I think when I won it last time, my, my twins had just been born uh, somewhere around there, so it was cool to have them. Talk about the prep that you have to go through to get to that point. Uh, well, you know, there's all kinds of these fiddle contests we go to, and you play, you know, get all your tunes ready, and you practice some, you know, of course, Justin's one of my teachers, so he helps me a lot, and I ask for advice and all kinds of stuff, and it's great to have him here, too. 
Yeah, well, I, I think we're always prepping for it, and, and you know, every time we practice, we're we're thinking, what's the next contest we're going to be in, and right. trying to keep our tunes up, and just try to play as much together as we can. And we do a lot of jamming too, and that that's good preparation as well. We always play together. And, and you guys have both won competitions in, in other places like Nashville, right? You said earlier. Yeah, the, the Grand Masters Fiddler Contest. We've we've both won that, and and Noah's won a bunch. This the last couple of years, how many have you won? You probably lost track. I have lost track, but it's it's just really fun, you know. To win. Uh, and both of you guys have, have played on the Opry too, and you're part of the Opry House Band, right? That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a part time member of the Opry House Band. What's that so, like? Oh man, there's nothing like it. I mean, it's it's real scary, <laughs> but it's also a lot of fun, and we get to play with a lot of different artists. So it's uh, it's tremendous. And and for you talk about uh, you know what it was like as you played on the Opry twice. Yes, I have. Talk about that first experience and then the latest experience that you had to. Yeah, well, the first experience it was at the Grand Ole Opry House, you know, right in Opryland, you know, in Nashville. And um, it was at the Grandmasters, you know, we talked about winning that. You know, I got to go, I got to play a tune and, you know, meet a lot of cool people back there. But the second time, it was in January of this year, from this contest here, they had just at, made that an addition to it. And um, that was wonderful. I got to play for the Square Dancers, you know, every Saturday night oh, well, yeah. when the curtains yeah. come up, they have the Square Dancers. So I got to do that. The staff band was great. It was wonderful. And then Daly and Vincent invited me out at the end and I played a tune with them. So. What's it like playing with Daly and Vincent? They're they're really great. They're really great guys. You know, I I had no idea that you know they were going to ask me, and they they just did, and we we actually closed out the show, so I got to open it and close it off. Yeah. And you're competing again this year too. I huh? am. Yes. How uh, how'd that go? Oh, well, I have not done the fiddle competition yet, right. but I have done mandolin and dobro. Right. Also. How did that go? Oh, that went good. I placed first in the dobro and second in the mandolin. Oh, man, that's awesome. And the fiddle competition yet to come. Are you guys are going to have to watch him here at the Jamboree. We're going to go back to some live coverage. All right. We are fixing to move into our square dancing getting our house band set up, getting our stage sweeped off. Let's talk about our finalists for the bluegrass band. Did y'all enjoy them? Coming back in our finals for the bluegrass band, contestants number 174, Blue Cove Mountain Grass from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Contestants number 173, First Southern Flavor from Salem, Virginia. And contestants number 51 from Hillham, Tennessee, Clearview. Our finalists for Bluegrass Band, Blue Mountain Cove, Blue Cove Mountain Grass, First Southern Flavor, and Clearview. We have three square. Take two. We have three square dance teams that will be competing. They will be performing for you. This will be the. So they will, with the three teams, they will be competing, and this is our finals for square dancing. Okay, so there's no preliminaries. We're going straight to the finals for the square dancing. Get our sound ready. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Y'all put your hands together for our house band, East Nash Grass. Are y'all good on sound, or you want to play one, or what you want? You good? All right, folks. They do better when they hear you, okay? So you got to be loud for them. I'd probably sound good for all of them if I were going to guess. Yeah, pass it around this time. Fiddle every other turn. All right, folks. Y'all ready for some square dancing? We're gonna do a sound check. Let's hear you, crowd. Contestants number 170, number 170 from Franklin, Tennessee. Y'all welcome to the stage, Jackson Hollow.
Jackson Hollow from Franklin, Tennessee. Good job, good job. Y'all like that? I think they heard a little bit of you out there, but I think you can do a little bit better. Hey, we got Durham's Bull, a little slower, PMA. All right. Judges, you're ready. 127. This will be contestant number 127. They are from Dixon, Tennessee. Y'all give a loud, warm welcome to Step Aside. Get it, y'all?
127, step aside from Dixon, Tennessee. Good job, folks. Good job. Anybody else out there out of breath watching them? Give them a moment to get off the stage. Let the band blow their instruments to get the heat off of them just a little bit. We have one more square dance team in our competition here. Folks, they are contestant number 62, number 62. They say from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Y'all put your hands together for Tennessee Dance Alliance.
2022 Tennessee Dance Alliance from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. These square dance teams really prepare and get ready for the Jamboree. I came on the square on Wednesday and they already had some tents set up ready to be here for the weekend. We appreciate them being here. If you walked around and saw their tents today, though, you'd see grease guns that they put in their knee, grease their knees up, WD-40 for their ankles. They come prepared. All right, y'all like that? So yesterday we had our youth square dancing competition. Something new we've been able to do this year. We partnered with the Grand Ole Opry with the Opry Square Dancers. And our youth square dance champion from this year is going to get to go and dance at the Opry with the Opry Square Dancers. Isn't that cool? Not just that, but a lot of the dancers that have went across the stage at the Opry have come through our stage at the Smith Fillers Jamboree. So you could be watching somebody that dances or that will dance with the Opry or has danced. So as a special treat tonight, we want to let you in and let you see another showcase of our youth square dancing team the champions of 2023 who will be going to the Opry. Y'all put your hands together, get loud, give a warm welcome to Smithville Select. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, that's your 2023 U Square Dancing Champion, Smithville Select. Give them another round of applause. I think some of them, and I asked the question uh, Thursday night, some of them have been dancing together for eight years. Some of them have been with the team for five years. So it's pretty neat for us locals to see a team from Smithville that's grown up and gathered the team together to put together, and now they're going to the Opry together. We need finalists in junior old-time Appalachian Flatfoot, Elizabeth Clark, Colina Ralston, Jamie Hash. Then we'll move into senior old-time Appalachian Flatfoot, Anthony Harold, Danny Campbell, Tammy Scruggs. Be making your way to the backstage area so Miss Beth can get you lined up. Well, we've made it. It's time for finals. I didn't say time for a funeral. I said time for finals. Oh, I can see you all so much better standing right here. Back here, it's like just you all, could, if you were real quiet, you could leave and I wouldn't know it. It's like singing to a train back here. Come right down the road. We're getting our finalists in senior, or excuse me, junior old-time Appalachian Flatfoot. We need Elizabeth Clark, Colina Ralston, and Jamie Hash. After that, we'll move into senior old-time Appalachian Flatfoot. Anthony Harold, Danny Campbell, Tammy Scruggs. We want to thank our house band, East Dash Grass. We'll be hearing from them a little bit later tonight. Hadn't they been good? They are absolutely terrific. You can catch the most every Monday night at Dee's Cocktail Lounge over in Nashville. Go check them out. They also live stream the show. So go check that out. They are brought to us by Walmart. Save money. Live better. Folks, I know that we've mentioned this, but this show couldn't go on without a lot of help. Can y'all give a big round of applause to our emergency services, our ambulance, our fire department, our police sheriff? You don't know it, but okay. they've been on standby during our square dancing back here, helping assist dancers as they've come off. They've been a big help this weekend. They've had a busy weekend with the heat. So one more round of applause for our first responders. Also, East Nash Grash, they have merch over here to my left. It's over in a Kubota. Go see them. Get everything they have. Just say, hey, I want to buy something. Go do it. Support these musicians here because they are absolutely terrific. They are fantastic. We have been blessed to have them all weekend long. Okay, we have, I see Jamie Hash. We have Elizabeth Clark, and we need Kalina Ralston. We have her too? Okay. Judges, are we ready? The stage is not ready. It's almost ready. So we're about to start the 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddlers Jamboree Saturday Night Finals. We're going to start with Junior, old-time Appalachian Flatfoot. Make some noise, judges. From Springfield, Tennessee, it's contestant number 5757. From Springfield, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Miss Elizabeth Clark. <laughs>
She's Elizabeth Clark from Springfield, Tennessee. Great job. Okay, up next from Lebanon, Tennessee, we need on the stage in her sparkly wear. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number 31 from Lebanon, Tennessee, Kalina Ralston. <laughs> She is Colleen Rousen from Lebanon, Tennessee. Great job. Okay, up next, from Wallen, Tennessee. She's number 29. Judges, that's 2-9. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause to Miss Jamie Hatch. <laughs> Great job, Jamie, great job. We are proud that this year's Fiddler's Jamboree is presented to you by the Cab Telephone Cooperative. DTC Communications is proud to be a part of the 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. Watch live on, U on YouTube channel DTC3 for all your wall-to-wall -wall coverage with high-speed internet, phone, TV, and security services. DTC Communications has been making meaningful connections for over 70 years. They are your local community partner. Up next will be senior old-time Appalachian Flatfoot. We'll have Anthony Harold, Danny Campbell, Tammy Scruggs. After that, we'll move right into senior buck, stand, buck dancing, which is Tim Hartman, Danny Campbell, Tammy, Tammy Scruggs. We're excited to, we'll later see Mr. Campbell dance. Hopefully no one will get arrested this time. He's been arrested in three states while he's dancing. Once again, we're excited that this year's Fiddle Off winner will be going to the Grand Ole Opry <laughs> to play an Opry show. Later to be determined, we want to thank Dan Rogers and all the Opry staff and Darren Vincent and Daly and Vincent for making that happen for us here at our Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. Okay, we're good. And senior Appalachian Flatfoot from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, judges. It's contestant number 64. 6-4 from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Anthony Hill. He is Anthony Harrell from Mount so Juliet, Tennessee. <laughs> Great job. So he was 64.
Up next, judges, we have contestant number 52-5-2 from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the shortest dancer of all dancers, Mr. Denny Campbell. <laughs> He may be little, but he has a heck of a heart. That's Danny Campbell. <laughs> Up next, judges will be from Lebanon, Tennessee. Contestant number 36, 3-6. 36, 36 from Lebanon, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Miss Tammy Scruggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She is Tammy Scruggs. <laughs> Up next, we'll have finalists in senior buck dancing. We're looking for Tim Hartman, Danny Campbell, Tammy Scruggs. Once we find out we have no ties, this portion of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree is brought to you by Liberty State Bank. We're thrilled to announce Liberty State Bank as an official sponsor of the Smuffle Fiddler's Jamboree. As part of the Citizens Bank family, Liberty State Bank has a long-standing history of community support. At Liberty State Bank, we believe in the power of personalized service and building relationships at last. Whether you are saving time, whether you are saving for the future, planning for retirement, or starting a new business venture, we have the deposit products and financial services to meet your needs. With our competitive interest rates, you can watch your savings grow while enjoying peace of mind. Our knowledgeable team of experts is here to guide you every step of the way, ensuring that your financial goals are within reach. As a community bank, we take pride in reinvesting in the areas that we serve. Supporting local businesses and giving back to the community has always supported, that have always supported us. Thank you from Liberty State Bank. Okay, we're good. We're going to move into senior buck dancing. Judges, senior buck dancing. This means their feet are not to come more off than six inches off the floor. They're not using their whole body. <laughs> Judges, this is contestant number 53. That's 5353 from Lyles, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tim Hartman. He is Tim Hartman from Lyles, Tennessee. <laughs> Judges, up next from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The Jamboree mascot, contestant number 52, Mr. Danny Campbell.
up next. Judges, welcome back to the stage from Lebanon, Tennessee. Contestant number 36, 36 from Lebanon, Tennessee. It is Miss Tammy Scrugg. <laughs> <laughs> She is Tammy Scruggs from Lebanon, Tennessee. And we are cruising right along. But we have a lot, lot left. We have, of course, we have some more dancing. We have a concert, and we got a fiddle-off coming up. But before we get to that, we want to thank, once again, WJLE for streaming all of our our coverage of our Fiddler's Jamboree from the start-offs of the fiddle-off. They have been here. They've just been not here this year, but all 52 years. We're very thankful for WJ Lee. And, of course, we want to thank DTC for providing wall-to-wall -wall coverage, streaming, um, and also having a telecast on DTC3, but also on Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. You can get an Internet connection. You can watch our Fiddler's Jamboree. Senior clogging, we need Anthony Harold, Tammy Scruggs, Jason Wade. Then we'll move into duo clogging, Elizabeth Clark and Camry Patterson, Michaela Foster, Jamie Hash, and the duo of Ralston Falks. Yes. We will be having a final giveaway if you think, hey, I'd like to win these rocking chairs on stage. I'll, I might want to win, go to the Grand Ole Opry. Go buy a ticket. It's a dollar a ticket. Six tickets for $5 and 15 tickets for 10 And we're good. Before we move into the clogging, y'all give a nice round of applause. A Smithville, Tennessee, welcome to our judges Jeff Driggs, Lynn Olger, Holbrook, and Chip Summy. If you don't like their judging, they can be found at the Holiday Inn in Cookville, rooms number 308, 310, and 312. All right, y'all ready for some senior clogging? Are y'all still out there? All right, this is senior clogging ages 40 and up. Up, up, up. First up from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, he is contestant number 64, number 64. Y'all put your hands together for Anthony Harrell. Yep, Thank you. Contestant number 64, Anthony Harrell, weak at the knees. Hey, folks, if you were out here and you may have lost some money, if you were out here and may have lost some money, 
It is in the trusted hands of one of our local politicians and our local sheriff. So if you want to go down to the sheriff's department down here and tell them what denomination that's in, they may or may not give it back, but you do have to know the serial numbers. Okay? So go see the sheriff down the sheriff's office. If you don't get it right and you're trying to steal somebody else's money, you better not go to the sheriff, okay? We do have a spot for you and a sale. All right, next up in our senior clogging from Lebanon, Tennessee, she is contestant number 36, number 36. Y'all put your hands together for Tammy Scruggs. Contest number 36, Tammy Scruggs from Lebanon, Tennessee. We got anybody with us still uh, from out of the country? All right, just our next one, I guess. He's contestant five. He come all the way from Paris, so give him a big welcome. Paris, Tennessee. Contestant number five, y'all welcome, Jason Wade. didn't know the French clog like that. Contestant number five, Jason Wade. Hey, hold on, hold on. Y'all got energy. Where are you going? We got more dancing. Hang tight. They heard you and they got loud too. Y'all y'all stay right, right where you at. They're louder than all y'all. Y'all like that clogging? We'll make sure we don't have a tie. We need our duo clogging con uh, finalists coming up. Our duo clogging finalists. As Luke said, we're going to be doing another drawing here in just a few minutes. One dollar for one ticket, six dollars, six tickets for five dollars, and fifteen tickets for ten dollars. But I tell you what, we'll give you a special, okay? For $10, we'll give you three sets of five, okay? Buy your ticket for the raffle drawing we'll have in just a few moments. Make sure we we don't have a tie in the senior clogging. Hmm. 
Maddie, how many years you won the fiddle here? Do you know? I think three. Three years? All junior? But you won the beginning category too, didn't you? A few times? Let's see, who else? James has competed here, right? Corey won the banjo. And probably some other stuff. James has competed. Henry, you been on our stage before? In the band. Sometimes he goes by Harry. Sometimes. Henry, Harry. Henry. Harry. Harry. Really Harrison. Harrison. It's whatever I call you, you know? So, where are you from, Gavin? Winchester, Virginia. What about you, Picker? Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. How'd you get lost in Tennessee? For music? Yes, sir. What brought you here? Maddie is from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Where are you from, Mr. Clark? Memphis. Memphis? You turn from blues to bluegrass? James? Chattanooga. And Corey is from? He's a Florida man. Yeah. We good on singer clog. We're good on singer clogging. All right, folks, we got our duo, duo clogging coming up. They are, it is a timed competition. Judges are watching for. They, who was that? They have a minute and a half, and judges are watching for rhythm. Ability to work as a couple, and whatever else they decide to judge on. All right, we are waiting on one band member. We want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Richard Roofing. Richard Roofing has been so blessed to be an opportunity to invest in Smithville, Tennessee. You can visit our third location located on downtown West Broad Street. We're in Middle Tennessee's most trusted roofing system installers. Richard Roofing offers full inspection and free estimates. Stop by our store or call us at 931-284-8841 to upgrade your largest asset, your home. At Richard Roof Roofing, we've got you covered. All right, we're ready to move into our duo clogging. First up, from Springfield, Tennessee, it's okay, we're always waiting on Corey. Judges there, contestant number 47, contestant number 47, right, yeah, all right. From Springfield, please put your hands together for Elizabeth Clark and Camry Patterson. Contestants number 47, Elizabeth Clark and Cameron Patterson from Springfield, Tennessee. Our next contestants, 
One from Cookville, one from Wallen. They are contestants number 32, contestants number 32. Y'all welcome Michaela Foster and Jamie Hash. Foster and Jamie Hash. Great job. Thank you. Our last finalist in duo clogging from Lebanon, Tennessee. They are contestants number 30, number 30. 30. Y'all put your hands together for Ralston and Fox. Contestants number 30 from Lebanon, Tennessee, Ralston and Fox. We will make sure we don't have a tie in the duo clogging. All right, we're going to make sure we don't have a tie in the duo clogging. Y'all enjoy that? Wait just a second. So, new category this year. We had seven teams compete in that duo clogging. So, we hope to have more next year. Y'all hope to have more in that? Good deal. We're going to make sure we don't have a tie. Hey, dancing judges, y'all come here a minute. Lynn, Chip, Jeff, come on up here. Good, I got that right. I guess it's the last one. Hey, y'all give me one quick Sally Gooden if you don't care. Ah, oh, well, we, I don't know, Harry just left. Just, okay, that's fine. I just want your picks. You want it? They're yours. Just for these three judges, they gonna dance one. Yeah, or something, whatever they want. No, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. All right, y'all. This is our dancing judges. 
Y'all come on up here. Lynn. Chip. Jeff. They're going to show you how it's done. Y'all okay with that? Now, hang on, too. Let me tell you this. Lynn, is she the only one in the clogging? All three? This is royalty, y'all. All three of them are in the clogging Hall of Fame. They will be signing autographs afterwards. They've got a fan club back behind them. All right, let's see what they got. Our house band's going to play them one as we're waiting on our tabulators. No, you ain't. All right, folks, y'all give a round of applause. This is Lynn Older Holbrook, Chip Summy, and Jeff Driggs. Hit it, Maddie. shoes they didn't but they will next year i promise thanks chip jeff thank you five ten minute break we'll get our awards and then we'll bring y'all back up so y'all take a quick quick break miss lynn All, All right, right, we had no time with duo clogging. We're going to give out some awards here. Am I doing them? I'll read them. All right. All right, if we can get Junior Old Time Appalachian Flatfoot Awards. Junior Old Appalachian Flatfoot, Elizabeth Clark, Colina Ralston, Jamie Hash. If you just dance, we're going to be doing the, all the dancing awards. So if you were in finals, yes, flat foot, flat foot. We need Elizabeth Clark, Colleen Ralston, and Jamie Hash. Okay, give a round of applause for our finalists in junior old-time Appalachian flat foot. In third place, from Lebanon, Tennessee, Colleen Ralston. In second place, from Springfield, Tennessee, Elizabeth Clark. And your champion in junior old-time Appalachian flatfoot dancing is from Wallen, Tennessee, Miss Jamie Hash. Okay, we just had the young Appalachian Flatfoot, so the next group is the not as young Appalachian Flatfoot. Senior old time Appalachian Flatfoot finalists, come on out. Anthony Harold, Danny Campbell, Tammy Scruggs. Give a round of applause, everyone. 
in senior, Old Time Appalachian Flatfoot Dancing. In third place, from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, Mr. Anthony Harrell. Placing second. Hey, make sure I can read this. From Lebanon, Tennessee, Miss Tammy Scruggs. We are right now doing a recount because right now our champion is from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Mr. Danny Campbell. Danny, your, your, your money's on the floor. <laughs> We need finalists in senior buck dancing. That's Tim Hartman, Danny Campbell, Tammy Scruggs. <laughs> Placing third in senior buck dancing from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Danny Campbell. In second place, from Lyles, Tennessee, Mr. Tim Hartman. And placing first, from the great dancing town of Lebanon, Tennessee, Miss Tammy Scruggs. Ethan Shaw. We need someone to bring the rest of those awards that got ready. Finalist, senior clogging, please be making your way here. It's Anthony Harrell, Tammy Scruggs, and Jason Wade. Everyone right, give our finalists and senior clogging a round of applause. Placing third in our senior clogging competition. From Lebanon, Tennessee, Miss Tammy Scruggs. In second place, from Paris, Tennessee, Mr. Jason Wade. Meaning your champion in senior clogging from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, his name is Anthony Harrell. Oh, I had to wear my sunglasses up there. Yeah. Finalists in duo clogging. Be making your way up front. What are we doing? Finalists this year? I don't know. Danny's not out here. Duo clogging finalists. Elizabeth Clark, Camry Patterson, Michaela Foster, Jamie Hash, and the duo of Ralston Falks. Okay, 
Give a round of applause for our duo clogging finalist. Placing third. From Lebanon, Tennessee, the duo of Ralston Falks. From Springfield, Tennessee, placing second, Elizabeth Clark and Camry Patterson. Meaning your champion and duo clogging from Cookville, Tennessee, Michaela Foster and Jamie Hash. <laughs> Those are our inaugural winners of duo clogging never in Jamboree history. Have you seen this before? So congratulations. We should now have Square Dance and Alex. Square Dance teams, be making your way up to the stage. Square Dance teams. That is Tennessee Dance Alliance, Jackson Hollow, and Step Aside. Square dancing. We have Jackson Hollow, Step Aside, and Tennessee Dance Alliance. Getting everybody up here. Is this everyone? Everyone's bringing with them. I don't want to leave anybody out. Okay. Let's give a round of applause for our square dancing finalist. Placing third. From Dixon, Tennessee, step aside. In second place, from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, Tennessee Dance Alliance. Hold on, did I mess that up? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Meeting our champion from Franklin, Tennessee, Jackson Hollow. We now should be getting ready to do a giveaway. Is that correct, Commissioner Woodward? We're doing a giveaway? Yeah, we're going to do a giveaway. Here you go. Y'all do your mics. We're going to do a giveaway. If you have bought a ticket, get it ready. Because whatever we have left, we're giving it away. Where's the list of what we're giving away? 
All right, get your tickets ready. We're going to do some drawings here. And you're going to have to holler loud because we can't see. We need our prime. Oh, here they come. Here they come. All right, our first ticket. What are we giving away, Luke? Well, let's give away this. Yeah. I, I, is this basket all together? Or is this? Oh, no. Is this whole thing together or no? Oh, no. It's all together. This is all together. It's all this stuff right here. All this stuff right here. Let's give away this. The center of Lake Sound, the 40 all right, Luke, tell them what we're giving away. We're going to give away a big basket of everything DeKalb County fun. We got Center Hill Lake signs from the mail room, a $40 gift card, a Tennessee state flag from Senator Janice Bowling, and a music water bottle. All right, our first ticket, ticket number... Yellow, 104 yellow ticket. Going once, 02073 going twice. Oh, Got we it, hear somebody. I no wonder it took a while. She got a whole handful of tickets she's going through. But she don't want to bring it up on stage. If she don't bring it, you don't have to. Sh if she don't come up here, you don't have to share, okay? This goes with it. What's our next item? Let's give away. That's it. Where are you from? Short mount. You already won one, ain't you? I'm telling y'all folks, you got to buy a ticket. Hold on. This is supposed to go with that. Who, I can't see who you are, where you are, who, what you're doing. This goes with this. There you go. All right. Our next ticket. You look great. Okay. I know. You look great. What are we giving away this time, Luke? We're going to give away a CNS Farms gift card. And it looks like a pontoon rental from Sligo. All right. Pontoon rental on beautiful Center Hill Lake. Ticket yellow 104 02511. Got it over here. Where are you from, ma'am? From Alexandria. Surely Home you've of the been finest on... folks on earth. Yes, ma'am. Surely you've been on Center Hill Lake before, right? Well, you're going again. Do you have a boat yourself? It's not running. Well, they'll rent you one that's running, okay? Enjoy it. All right, our next ticket. Let's give away a set of Opry tickets. A set of Opry tickets. Ticket number green. Colors number 0929. 9969. It's a green ticket. 99969. Got it? I'm not sure if these are dated or not, but you just dropped your food. I hope you were done with it. I don't know if these are dated, but maybe you can get them the night that the Smith will select dance, okay? All right. Let's give away a Deering banjo paired with a Tennessee flag. Here you go. We have a Deering banjo donated it to us from Deering banjo itself. It. This is a yellow ticket, ticket number 104-02504. Ticket... 
yellow ticket 02504. Right here. Oh, Mr. Zach Roberts. Now, if you get this banjo, you have to come back next year and play it. All right. You want the box. Here, you got to carry it all at one time. Play a tune for us. All right. Let's hey, Timmy Nixon over here, one of the judges, Zach, said he'd give you some lessons on that banjo. He's local. He said he'll give you a real good price since that banjo was free, right? Yeah. Alex, let's give away a rocking chair. All right. Here is one of our rocking chairs donated by R&B Crafts. been set up on Webb Street up there. This is a green ticket. Ticket number 0929951. Green ticket, 99851. Got, you got it? it? You got to prove it. Where are you from, ma'am? That's good, because you got to get this in your vehicle. Right now. Good luck carrying it to your car. I hope you, hope you park close. All right. Yes, ma'am. That's She said that's why she stayed. So a friend came from Lafayette. She bought the tickets, and she gave you the tickets because she had to leave. But we won't tell her you, she won it. Except if she's listening to DTC, she just found out. We won't tell her your name, though, so they won't know. All right. If you'll come see one of the guys under this white tent, we'll get that for you when you get ready to go, okay? Thank you. Alex, that was so much fun. Let's give away another one. All right. Yeah. All right. This is a yellow ticket. Ticket number 104-02452. Yellow ticket 02452. Yellow ticket 0... I heard somebody. 2452. Do you have a big vehicle? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Where are you from? Good deal. Oh. Where'd you, you like move from? Chairs? West Virginia. All right. We'll have that on stage if you'll just see somebody in the white tent when you get ready to go, okay? And then also, if, you'll let, if you want the matching one, you let me know, and I know where to send you to get buy one, okay? It's a buy one, get one free. All right. Our next drawing for Opry tickets. For Opry tickets, this is our last item of the night. Our last drawing. This is for two tickets to the Grand Ole Opry. It is a green ticket. Sorry. But we don't know if they're here or not. Zero, nine, two, nine, 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 three, nine. Ticket number nine, 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 three, nine. Green ticket number nine, 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 three, nine. Somebody said draw again. Nine, 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 three, nine. If you're hollering draw again and you win, you got to take me or Luke. Deal. I like whoever said that. The only problem is I can't see who said that. All right. Yellow ticket. Oh boy. Yellow ticket 104 02515. Yellow ticket 02515. Do we have any takers? 02515. Come on up. 
We got a winner coming this way. All right. Yeah, I think so. Right here. I can't see them. Oh, we got, we got someone coming. As we get ready to move into our next segment, we're going to do the Blue Blaze Award. Our Blue Blaze Award is sponsored by Food Line, Middle Tennessee Natural Gas Home Project Hometown Help, Sutton Old Time Music Store in Granville, Tennessee, Twisted Oaks of Smithfield, Tennessee. You're going to the Opry. Right. Have you been before? Okay, you get to pick. Me or Luke? Either one. Well, you pick him up in Nashville, so he'll... Yeah, be a little closer, but I'm in I live Smithville. real close. I live real close. I'll take you out to a nice dinner. There's this place called Scoreboard Bar and Grill. Great place. Miss Tammy Scrugg knows all about it. Give we me then the after the, Give me the uh, after the show, we can go to the place called the National. He doesn't Palace. never stop either. Enjoy. Thank you. Hope to see y'all back next year. Bad Boys Barbecue. All right, our sponsors: Twisted Oaks of Smithville, Ascension St. Thomas DeKalb, Smithport Cabinetry, Ace Hardware of DeKalb County and Glenn's Auto Sales of Smithville. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the up-and-coming bluegrass artist band. They are the ambassadors for bluegrass music and ambassadors for Nashville, Tennessee. They come from East Nashville. They have grown up on the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree stage. And they always give their credit of becoming a band and who they are to the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree, right? Yeah. All right, we'll get our microphones set up. We got one right here too. If you need a, okay. Not right now. Hey, will you take these down there? After our Blue Blaze winners, East Nash Grass, perform, we will go into our Bluegrass Banjo competition. We will go to our Junior Fiddlers, and behind our Junior Fiddlers, we will do our Senior Fiddlers, and then jump back in order. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let them hear your support. Make it loud and clear. This is our 2023 Blue Blaze Award winners. Please welcome East Nash Grass. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you all so much. Appreciate all y'all sticking around. Um, how about a big hand for the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree right here? This is a hell of a lot of work to be able to put all this together, and they have done such a wonderful job. We're glad that they've had us, and uh, as, as the guys have mentioned, we have been here. Many of us have been here for several years. We have a lot of history here, and that's where I met Maddie some years ago. I won't talk about specifically how long ago it was, because we joke that she's at least 14 years old. How about it for Maddie Denton over here on the fiddle? That's Gavin Largent on the dobro, Woo! Harry Clark on the mandolin, yeah! Jeff Picker on the upright bass, yeah, Corey Walker on the banjo. There he is, and some of his thoughts Can earlier. Can I get a hand? Guys, we really do appreciate y'all sticking around. Uh, the weather gives us whatever it gives us, and we're glad to have a little bit of rain here. We're thankful for that in Tennessee. But if you guys would like to maybe meet us, we're over here at that camouflage Kubota. We've got merchandise set up. My mom and dad are over there. I hardly ever get to see mom and dad. Dad brought me here when I was 16 years old. I got my first speed ticket on 111, headed right over here. 
Thank you, Dad, for being here today. But we got a few t-shirts and CDs. We got a new album coming out in August, August 18th. We're going to have a brand new record. So it really is our great honor to be here with you guys. We're condensing what was going to be a little bit longer performance down to just like a song or something like that. But I hope you guys all get to come see us somewhere soon. And uh, thank you so much to the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree for having us out here tonight. It means a lot for us to get to do this. So here's our... Uh, before we start, can we, can we have everyone's attention out there? Everyone out there, if you would please direct your attention up here. We're, we're just going to have a moment of silence before we start this song. So if, starting on, on three, if everyone could please just... We're going to have a quick moment of silence on three. Everyone, moment of silence on three. One, two, three... Excuse me. Thank you so much, Mr. Harry. Can you give Mr. Harry a hand? He's doing all this work up Thank you. here. It works out great for me. Love to be here tonight. Thank you, guys. This is a song off the new record. It goes like this right here. It goes here. like this right here. As I walked through the door and my eyes fit to darkness, I saw him alone at the bar. I went over to him, said, you may not know me, but I sure do know who you are. But don't worry, my anger will spend long ago, and only the memories remain. But Lord, I suffered, sometimes I still wonder, maybe now you can't explain. Tell me how could I love her so much And then lose her so quickly to someone like you How did you know how to hold her and please her How did you know what to do After all of this time I spent learning to love her Be what she needed me to How could I love her so much And then lose her so quickly to someone like you I'll tell you a story that's sad, but it's true. I loved her and held her till some riddler sold her to me like I stole her from you. I guess no one can own her, a heart like a soldier, a fortune and love like a man. Still all I can think of is finding her new love, asking this question again. Tell me how could I love her so much? And then lose her so quickly to someone like you. How did you know how to hold her and please her? How did you know what to do? After all of this time I spent learning to love her, be what she needed me to. How could I love her so much? And then lose her so quickly to someone like you. And then lose her so quickly to someone like you How did you know how to hold her and please her? How did you know what to do? After all of this time I've been learning to love her Be what she needed me to How could I love her so much? And then lose her so quickly to someone like you Tell me how could I love her so much? And then lose her so quickly to someone like you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Smithville. Clink your shackles over there at the jail for us. Thank you. We appreciate you guys being here. We'll see y'all. Great job, East Nashgrass.
good for that one? One more? Sure. And yeah. then okay. that'll be good. Let's do let's do real road and gambling, and then we'll be good, okay? okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kim Driver Luton is gonna present our twenty twenty three Blue Blaze Award. And then we're going to how about one more song from East Nash Grass? Yeah. All right. All right. Um, on behalf of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree and Crafts Festival, we are excited and pleased to honor you all with the 2023 Blue Blaze Award to East Nash Grass. If y'all will get together and for a photo. Wait just a second, we got Picker coming. All right, our 2023 Blue Blaze Award winner East Nash Grass will give us one more song and then we will get back to our finals. I'll let them introduce the song. Check one, two, one, two. How you doing, Smithful? Did I say that right, Smithful? I thought so. That's right. Here's you one off our new album. It's called Railroading and Gambling. Mammy told you six months ago Keep on your coat and happy Ready to go Railroading and gambling Picking up your mammy long, long. Maddie Denton, Gavin Lambert, Harry Clark, and Jeff Picker. Henry Clark, I know. Thank y'all very much. We're not done yet. Don't go anywhere. We're going to do some sound adjustment real quick, move some microphones, and we're going to be going into the bluegrass banjo. 
bluegrass banjo finalist. We appreciate Myers Concert Productions, our sound company for the weekend. They have been learning as we go. This is OTJ on the job training. OTJ, OJT. Well, what we were good with it, whatever. They they have been in the sound production. It's getting fuzzy up here. They've been in the sound production for many years, but this is their first time at the Smithville Fiddlers Jamboree, so they are learning as they go. We appreciate them. Y'all give them a round of applause. We need Alex Davis to check in backstage. Alex Davis. We will be going into our bluegrass banjo. It doesn't happen this way always, but we had a good number in a bluegrass banjo, but the finalists were the first three that performed tonight. So they're coming back. We have Axel Rico. From Smithville, we have Cody Harvey from Chattanooga and Alex Davis from Manchester. Y'all having fun? Anybody been here the whole time? <laughs> Sound people don't count. We still got a good crowd out. Show you the flat foot right there. That's the flat foot. Again, we appreciate our sponsors for the Blue Blaze Awards section food line of Smithfield, Middle Tennessee Natural Gas Project, Hometown Health, Help. Sutton Old Music Store, Glenn's Auto Sales, Smithport Cabinetry, Twisted Oaks, Ace Hardware of DeKalb County, and Ascension St. Thomas Hospital. Also with us all weekend, DTC, we really appreciate them and their production. We've got some of their guys that have been in that van back there all weekend. If y'all don't care, give DTC a round of applause. Can you imagine what it smells like in that van? They've been stuck up in that van since Friday morning, and they haven't been out. They're blinking at us right there. Everybody wave at DTC. See their light blinking at us? Thank y'all, Nick, Justin, JR, and team. We appreciate that and their help and sponsorship of the Jamboree. In addition to Risha Roofing, our other sponsor for the evening, Liberty State Bank of Smithville and DeKalb County. We are thrilled to announce Liberty State Bank as an official sponsor of the Smithville Fiddlers Jamboree. As part of the Citizens Bank family, Liberty State Bank has a long-standing history of community support. At Liberty State Bank, we believe in the power of personalized service, building relationships that last. Whether you're saving for the future, planning for retirement, Starting a new business venture, we have the deposit products and financial services to meet your needs. With our competitive interest rates, you can watch your savings grow while enjoying peace of mind. Our knowledgeable team of experts is here to guide you every step of the way, ensuring your financial goals are within reach. As a community bank, we take pride in reinvesting in the areas we serve, supporting local businesses, and giving back to the community that has supported us. Thank you from Wilson Bank and Trust. We give a big thank you to our sponsors. Because of them, we are able to help continue to put on this event. This is one of the few events that is free to all attendees. So it's something special that we are proud to carry on each year. All right, they're going to do a quick check on the sound, and we'll be ready to roll. All right, 
folks, this is our bluegrass banjo. First up in the bluegrass banjo finals from Smithville, Tennessee. Judges, this is contestant number 171. Number 171. They thought they had the mics ready, and now they're going to sit down. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all hear it? There you go. <laughs> All right. From Smithville, Tennessee, this is contestant number 171. Check one, number two. 171, make you feel welcome. This is Axel Rico. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to be here tonight, this evening. Uh, it's, almost, it's almost morning. <laughs> We're going to do an older Earl Scruggs number called uh, Ground Speed. You ready, Ralph? Yes, sir. Coming through on that. There you go, here we go. Contestant number 171 from Smithville, Tennessee, Mr. Axel Rico. Up next in our Bluegrass Banjo Finals from Chattanooga, Tennessee. He is contestant number 167. 167. Welcome back, your American flag, bluegrass banjo finalist, Mr. Cody Harvey. If we need to recite the pledge, you're more than welcome to, again. All right, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to do a... Um, number you don't hear very often on the banjo. Um, if you remember the old movie, uh, Wizard of Oz, this might sound familiar to you. I'm going to try uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow.
Thank you very much. Nice job, contestant number 167 from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Mr. Cody Harvey. Our last finalist in the bluegrass banjo from Manchester, Tennessee. Judges, he is number 165. Number 165. Y'all welcome Mr. Alex Davis. I'm going to be playing Cowboys and Indians. Is this your first time here at the Jamboree? Second time. Well, thanks for coming. You did pretty good. Alex Davis from Manchester, Tennessee. We will make sure we don't have a tie in our bluegrass banjo, and then we will move into our junior fiddle. We will go through our junior fiddle, and then we will go through our senior fiddle. And then we will keep moving along back in order. We've got junior fiddle, senior fiddle, flat top guitar, contest fiddle, bluegrass band, and then the grand fiddle off to go. So our junior fiddle finalists, Mr. Tyler Andall will go first, and then our second finalist, Mr. Noah Goble, will go second. Our third finalist had to leave uh, due to an early departure, so we have two finalists in our junior fiddle. We have two finalists in our senior fiddle. In the finals of the junior and senior fiddle, they will each play two songs. They will play a breakdown and a waltz. So each finalist, all four finalists will play a breakdown and a waltz. And then from there, we will determine the winner of the junior fiddler and the senior fiddler. And then they will, at the end, go head-to-head -head in a fiddle-off. We will flip a coin to see who goes first in that fiddle off. They will play three songs. They will play a breakdown, a waltz, and a song of their choice. So we will be getting to that here shortly. 
Make sure we don't have a tie in the bluegrass banjo. We appreciate you being here with us and sticking it out. Unfortunately, we didn't go through our finals last night due to the rain. But tonight, we were able to come back after the rain and keep going through our competition. And what's a jamboree if you don't have a fiddle off? So that's an exciting time. We're good. No tie. Folks, I need your help. If you have found a set of keys, we need those turned in to the tent to my left, your right. We have someone missing a set of keys. So if you have found those, please turn those in here left of the stage, my left, your right. Yep. All right, folks. This is our junior fiddle competition, our finals. This is contestant number 46 from Nashville, Tennessee. He will be playing a breakdown and a waltz, number 46. Accompanied by Rob Piercy from Smyrny, Tennessee. Y'all welcome Mr. Tyler Andall. Here's a Stripling Brothers tune called The Lost Child. ones we're going to play one called drunkard's hiccups
is Tyler Andall from Nashville, Tennessee. Up next, he needs no introduction, but by the rules, I have to introduce him anyway. He is contestant number 24, judges. That is 2-4 from Elkton, Kentucky. We have a scratch on this. Joe Overton has been a no-show, so we are going straight to contestant number 24, 2-4 from Elkton, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mr. Noah Goble. We're going to do the Acorn Hill Breakdown. Noah Goble from Elkton, Kentucky. Well, y'all seem a little tired, but y'all are here, and that is uh, something to be impressed, uh, very impressed. Y'all have stuck around. Already tearing down. Yes, get a little loud. We got some life. Oh, yes.
And Rob and Sarah, I know you are our finalist in senior fiddle. And Sarah, what is your number? Because they did not give me a paper. Uh, just make one up, I guess. I don't, okay. I don't, I look, buttons got lost in You're rainstorms. Good. Okay. We got it down back. <laughs> we are doing senior fiddle finals. And I was never given a paper. So it's Sarah Harris. I don't know what number she is, but there's only two of them. And it's her and Rob Piercy. So I don't know what that does to the computer, but I think we can differentiate. Okay. Not the one. Okay. The one, okay. Not yeah. the one. Not, not the one. <laughs> yes. The one. Okay. Judges. We have contestant number 7676 from Rockvale, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Sarah Harris. Thank you for sticking around. Woo! Um, I'm going to start with my waltz, I think, and this one's called Canadian Waltz. play also Arkansas Traveler. from Rockville, Tennessee. And coming back to the stage is our great ambassador of our jamboree. I don't know if he even knows how many awards he's won here at the jamboree, but I think you're the unofficial all-time winningest performer here at the jamboree. 59 first places as of this year. And I'm going to say that's more than anyone. And I got a whole lot more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and, and no 
Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number one from Smyrna, Tennessee, give it up for Rob Piercy. All righty. <laughs> All right, let me move this thing out of the way. I don't want to get into that one. All right, we're going to do one for you called, uh, we'll do the Buffalo Gals. <laughs> Midnight on the water. It's kind of appropriate here for all the rain. <laughs> Let's see. Contestant number one, Rob Piercy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're ready to give away some awards here. We need our finalists for the Bluegrass Banjo to come up. You them out? No, it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> our finalists for the Bluegrass Banjo, Axel Rico, Cody Harvey, and Alex Davis. Get out here where I can see y'all a little bit. 
Axel Rico, Cody Harvey, and Alex Davis. You just dropped a check, Carson. Axel Rico, Cody Harvey, Alex Davis. Here comes, I see Alex. I see just Alex. Need Axel, need Cody, Cody Harvey. Here comes Axel. Hurry up, Axel. Your wife said she wants your money from the prize. <laughs> Cody Harvey. He's coming. He's carrying a bass. I mean, a bass. All right, folks, y'all come on up here to the stage. Center stage, y'all give them a round of a hand. A round of a hand. A round of applause. It's getting mushy. All right. In third place, Bluegrass Banjo. Contestant number one, 67 from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Cody Harvey. In second place for Bluegrass Banjo from Smithville, Tennessee, contestant number 171, Axel Rico. And his only his second time at the Jamboree, 10 year old from Manchester, Tennessee, the Bluegrass Banjo champion of 2023, Mr. Alex Davis. All right, if y'all scoot back next to our Stage backdrop. We need our junior fiddle finalist to come forward, please. Are we good on senior fiddle? Okay. Alex Davis said that I didn't even realize he's got his name tag on his overalls. Man. Thank y'all. Great job. Alex Davis said he's only been playing banjo about two and a half years. He did pretty good for that two and a half years, didn't he? We need our junior fiddle finalist on stage, Mr. Tyler Andall and Mr. Noah Goebel. Tyler and Noah. Mr. Tyler and all, Noah Goble. Tyler. Tyler. Noah. All right. Y'all come on up center stage. Give a round of applause to our junior fiddle finalist. In third place from Smithville, Tennessee, contestant number 42, Mr. Joe Overton. In second place, contestant number 46 from Nashville, Tennessee, Mr. Tyler Andall. And your 2023 repeating junior champion fiddle player from Elkton, Kentucky, Mr. Noah Goble. If y'all will pose for a picture, and then Noah, you need to stay on stage, please.
Mm-hmm. All right. Noah, if you'll just step back to the back for just a second. We need Rob Piercy and Sarah Harris. Rob Piercy and Sarah Harris. Come forward, please. After we award this category, we will be moving into our flat top guitar finals. Y'all come on forward. Y'all give them a round of applause, Mr. S Rob Piercy and Miss Sarah Harris. Her first fiddle teacher. And our senior fiddlers, ages 40 and experienced. In second place, from Tennessee, Mr. Rob Piercy. In first place, from Rockville, Tennessee, Miss Sarah Harris. All right, give them a round of applause. Sarah, Noah, come on up here. Y'all know the rules. Y'all know what to do. You've both been in these shoes, but we got to do a coin toss. All right, we'll let the experienced or the older one call it, okay? Yeah, right, not Noah. Sarah, heads or tails? Now we got to be able to see it. I don't know if I It is heads. Noah, do you want to go first or last? He'll go last. Sarah, you'll be up first. We've got a few more categories. You know the drill. We've got three songs, a breakdown, a waltz, and a song of your choice. All right, we're going to move into the flat top guitar finals. Flat top guitar. Y'all going to stand or sit? Y'all going to stand or sit? Tell him, say, give me some chairs. Let's go. All right, judges, this is our flat top guitar finalist. First up from Athens, Alabama, he is contestant number 88, number 88. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Ty McMeans. This song I'm gonna play is Huckleberry Horn Pop.
Good job, contestant number 88 from Athens, Alabama, Mr. Ty McMeans. Assisting him, Miss Lily Goble. Assisting her brother. Do you get to share his money if he wins? Do you make him share? You have to give her a little bit? You give her the picture of the check? Make it last longer? All right. This is Flat Top Guitar from Elkton, Kentucky. Contestant number 24, number 24. He's back on stage, y'all. Let him hear you, Mr. Noah Goble. Okay. We're going to do the Big Sandy River. Nice job, Mr. Noah Goble from Elkton, Kentucky, contestant number 24. Rounding out our finalist in the flat top guitar. From Smyrna, Tennessee. Judges. Do I need to tell you the contestant number? You got this one down. This many. One. If he's here, he's number one contestant. From Smyrna, Tennessee, Mr. Rob Piercy. Well, all right. We'll finish this thing up here pretty quick and get you one called the uh, Festival Waltz.
is the one and only Rob Piercy. For those of you who are still with us, we want to say thank you and also thank you to those who are watching on DTC. DTC is our headlining sponsor this year, and they are proud to be a part of our 52nd Annual Spiffle Fiddler's Jamboree as they have brought us wall-to-wall -wall coverage on their YouTube channel, their Facebook page, to Nick Noakes, JR, Justin Malden, and other folks back in the van. Thank you so much for all that you do, all that you've done to provide nation, not just nationwide, but worldwide coverage on DTC. Also, thank you to Dwayne Page and... WJLE for broadcasting this on their radio station all weekend long. Also to Chris Tram of the Smithville Review for providing great newspaper coverage to everyone regarding our jamboree. We appreciate you all. Up next, we'll be going to contest fiddle. We'll be needing Sarah Harris, Noah Goble, and Tyler Andall. That is Sarah Harris, Noah Goble, Tyler Andall. I want to say thank you to our sound folks at Myers Concert Productions. They have been very accommodating with us as they have learned we are a particular group of people and we like things done a certain way and they have done everything they can to cater to our needs and wants. And guys, thank you all so much for sweating with us and giving us everything we need. You all have been terrific. Thank you so much. After contest fiddle, we'll go into bluegrass band. Then we will do our fiddle off. And then that'll be it until next year. So we are good to go. We'll move into contest fiddle. We need contestant number 76. 76 from, Murf excuse me, from Rockville, Tennessee. We need Miss Sarah Harris. Followed by Noah Goble and then Tyler Andall. Judges coming to the stage now is contestant number 76, 76. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together once again for Miss Sarah Harris. All right, you stragglers, you. I'm going to do Sally Gooden. Maybe if I can be in two. There we go.
Outstanding job. She is Sarah Harris. Judges. Up next, we need from Elkton, Kentucky. From Elkton, Kentucky. Do we know where Noah Goble is? You are, you are third on my list. Judges coming to the stage. Contestant number 24, 2 4 from Elkton, Kentucky. Please make welcome Noah Goble. Cotton Patch Act. Okay. Why do you ever just leave the stage? Okay, we're going to do Cotton Patch Rag. Contestant number 24, I believe, from Elton, Kentucky, Noah Gobo. <laughs> Finalists in Bluegrass Band, be making your way backstage. And, co and coming to the stage right now is contestant number 46, judges 4-6. Four, 46. Four, six. From Nashville, Tennessee, please make welcome Tyler Randall. I'm going to play Florida Blues.
He is contestant number 46 from Nashville, Tennessee, Tyler Endall. Contestants in Bluegrass Band, be ready is all I have to tell you. Know where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. It's my advice to contestants in Bluegrass Band. We are, we are head stage set up. This is uh, quite remarkable. We're waiting on a tie, but y'all are here ready to go. Yeah, we're ready this time. Okay, hey, listen, y'all are, are on it. Hey, let's go. Hey, great. It is great to be here in Smithville. I hope, boy, this stage is wet. Of course, after Bluegrass Band, we'll be moving to doing some awards, correct? That says the last thing I got. Our finalists in Bluegrass Band, will, when we're ready, will be Blue Cove Mountain Grass, First Southern Flavor, and Clearview from Hillham, Tennessee. And we are good. Now, no pressure, boys, but this is my favorite event of the entire Jamboree. So don't mess it up. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, you all do know we're doing one song. It's a vocal song, okay? So we've got it to, it judges is just one song, a vocal number is what we're doing tonight. We're all three groups. Okay. Judges, this is contestant number 174, 174 from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still with us, let them hear you. Two, Blue Coat Mountain Grass. Oh, thank you so much. You didn't tell us there's going to be people here. Hey, let's do a quick mic check yeah, down, down there. there. Axel, what you got? <clears throat> Evening. Check. All right. All right, Mr. Brown. We're going to do a nice gospel tune for you. Pass me not. One, two, three. say
Thank you so much. God bless you. Great job. Great job. I was ready for another verse. If you need a bass singer, let me know. You know, that's right. Get up here for just as I am. Well, we'll pray for you, Alex. Miss Vicky has a spot for you and her and her choir. I guarantee it. You could join right then. Okay, up next, we have contestant number 173. 173. They are on the score sheet as first Southern flavor. However, I've learned our computer program only can take so many words in their name. Their real name is First Southern Flavor Reunion, featuring esteemed guest Connor Valistra. That right? Okay, what a name. They're from Salem, Virginia, judges. Contestant number 173, First Southern Flavor Union featuring esteemed guest Connor Valistra. All right. Usually I figured we'd want to burn one down here in the band contest, but I feel like we've had a pretty solemn Smithville with some weather involved. So we'll just give you a little solemn song with a little bit of weather involved as well. That's right. Oh, yeah. The sun was covered Two hours ago Back in the west The mighty thunder did roll Heavy dark clouds Seemed to roll on the ground I watched it as it moved Straight through the town a twist is coming, everybody get down. A twist is coming, it's hitting the town. A twist is coming, and no place to go. It's a mighty dark. My family needs shelter, this I do know. That mighty dark monster, the tornado. A twist is a coming, everybody get down. A twist is a coming, it's here.
They are the first Southern Flavor reunion featuring esteemed guest Connor Valistra from Salem, Virginia. Another round of applause. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Coming up to the stage now. are the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Also known as Clearview. Judges, this is contestant number 5151 from Hillham and Cookville, Tennessee. Give a round of applause to Clearview. Yeah, check, check one, one, two. I believe we're good to go. Is that right? I hadn't been told otherwise. <clears throat> Folks, it's good to be with you again. Thank you all for staying with us out there. We've got several still in the crowd. And for you folks listening over the Internet or wherever you might be, we hope you enjoy this song we picked out for the Bluegrass Finals here. We'd like to dedicate this song to the remembrance of Jesse McReynolds and Mr. Bobby Osborne of Bluegrass Music, two fine vocalists, songwriters, and uh, mandolin players in their time. We'd like to do an Osborne Brothers song right here tonight. For you, and we hope you'll enjoy one called High on a Hilltop.
you see not the danger cause you're silly with fools and from high on a hilltop I see the devil folks. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. They were Clearview, and they are Clearview, from Cookville and Hillham, Tennessee. Well, I think it's time for us to, well, we need to wait on a tie. I'm sorry, I'm a little sleepy, so I apologize for my deliriousness. We want to thank our sponsors, Richard Roofing. It's a good uh, idea. Rich Roofing has been so blessed to have the opportunity to invest in Smithville, Tennessee. You can now visit our third location located downtown on West Broad Street. We're Middle Tennessee's most trusted roofing system installers. Rich Roofing offers free inspections and free estimates. Stop by our store or give us a call at 931-284-8841 to upgrade your largest asset, your home. At Rich Roofing, we've got you covered. And Liberty State Bank. Liberty State Bank is thrilled to announce they are an official sponsor of the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree as part of the Citizens Bank family. Liberty State Bank has a long-standing history of community support. They have been a sponsor since j day one for the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. We are proud of that, and we appreciate their support. Thank you for all you do, Liberty State Bank of Smithville, DeKalb County, a branch of Citizens Bank of Lafayette. Also, our headlining sponsor, DTC Communications, as well as the Smithville Review and WJLE. We appreciate what they do. Let's give out some awards. We need our finalists. <laughs> we need our finalists for... Flat Top Guitar, we need Ty McMeans, Noah Goble, Rob Piercy, Ty McMeans, Rob Piercy, Noah Goble, Rob Piercy, and here comes Ty. These are our finalists for Flat Top Guitar. Y'all give them a round of applause, whoever's left out there. We still got a good little crowd. In third place from Athens, Alabama, contestant number 88, Mr. Ty McMeans. In second place from Elkton, Kentucky, contestant number 24, Mr. Noah Goble. And your 2023 flat top guitar winner from Smyrna, Tennessee, Mr. Rob Piercy. Does that show up? We need our finalists for the contest fiddle to be making their way making their way on stage. We also need Janet England, Brandon and Ethan Shaw to make their way on stage. 
Here comes Tyler. We need Sarah. Who's counting? Hang on, Rob, come here. Rob, 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 come here. Rob has brought forth many competitors to the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. He's accompanied many people alongside their journey at the Smithville Jamboree. Yeah, yeah. Folks, this is his 60th career championship at the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree, his 60th first place award. Y'all give him a round of applause. He has been a great advocate for the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree, bringing musicians from all over here, and we appreciate that. This was, the first of, this was the first of this kind of festival that I ever went to. I came here knowing one tune, basically, and just running around copying other people's rhythm styles. And I met a young guy, and he kind of showed me the ropes, and he won the mandolin contest and let me back him up the first Back in 1980, 81, somewhere in there. <laughs> this is what tradition is about. Uh, I remember coming as a young child and looking for the man with the feather in his hat. And we love seeing that feathered hatted man every year. We appreciate you, Rob, and thank you for your contribution to the Smith Fillers Jamboree. At this time, we're going to award the contest fiddle. This is the Neil Dudney Award. Neil was a president and coordinator for the Jamboree for many years. We have his family with us to present this, his daughter Janet England, and two grandsons, Brandon and Ethan Shaw, who are on our board. Janet spent many years on our board as well. And his great-grandson, Mr. Carson Shaw, in third place, From Rockville, Tennessee, Miss Sarah Harris. In second place for Contest Fiddle. From Nashville, Tennessee, Mr. Tyler Endall. And your first place winner for the Neil Dudney Award in the Contest Fiddle for 2023 from Elkton, Kentucky, Mr. Noah Goble. All right, we'll get the Dudney, Shaw, England family. Hey, y'all stay up here first. Y'all with them. Tyler, y'all go ahead and jump in there with them, and then, then we'll kick you out, okay? They're getting more wobbly and thinner, aren't they? Don't y'all wish with the many people here we had more stuff to draw for? <laughs> Your chances of winning would be pretty good, wouldn't they? But I don't think, I think most of y'all are already so sleepy you wouldn't be able to read your numbers. All right, we need our finalists for Bluegrass Band. Mountain Co uh, Blue Cove Mountain Grass. First Southern Flavor Reunion and Clearview. We need our bluegrass bands, bluegrass band finals. Bluegrass band. There's one, here's two. First Southern Flavor, are you in line? Okay, my bad. All right. A round of applause for our Bluegrass Band finalists. In third place, 
from Salem, Virginia, First Southern Flavor Reunion. Yeah, I'm, I'm shortening it. After 1 o'clock, they get the short version. In second place, sounds like they love to mess with the announcers because they've mixed their name all around. Blue Cove Mountain Grass, also known as Mountain Cove Bluegrass. And your first place winners of the Bluegrass Band from Hillham, Tennessee, Clearview. I'll scoot back for a photo. Wipe the sleepies out of your eyes. <laughs> well, it's about that time. To fiddle around. We're going to have our steam fiddle off between two former champions. Miss Sarah Harris and Noah Goebel. Now they know the rules, but they will have to play a hoedown, a waltz, and then a song of their choice. Judges, am I saying that incorrectly? It's those three options, a hoedown, also could be a breakdown, a waltz, or a song of their choice. All right, we'll be getting Sarah Harris up here first. Noah won the coin toss. And he chose to defer. So he will receive kickoff in the second half. Absolutely. Rob signing autographs and he's the accompaniment. As soon as Mr. Rob Piercy gets done signing autographs, he's the accompaniment for Ms. Sarah Harris. We will move forward. And we have contestant number seventy six. So they will play these three songs in what order, whatever order they choose to. It's past somebody's bedtime, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, just a little bit. A former champion in this minutes. category. Okay. So, so you are a two-time fiddle-off champion, then, correct? Okay, so welcome back to the stage, a two-time fiddle-off champion, contestant number 76 from Rockville, Tennessee, Miss Sarah Harris. All right, for my breakdown, I'm going to do, yeah, what's up? Oh, it's you. I can't see. Thanks, Tyler, my number one fan. Uh, I'm going to do Cherokee Shuffle.
going to do my waltz. I'm going to do festival waltz. Good choice. That's a great choice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For my tune of choice, I am going to do Jerusalem Ridge. from Rockville, Tennessee. Yep. All right. Now it's time for our junior fiddle champion. Good luck, Noah. Thank you. Oh, easy on her, Noah. Right. 
Sarah said, take it easy on me. No, she said, good luck, Noah. Yeah. That's the fun part about this is that however all the com the competitors are friends, they know each other from different events, and they get to play against each other, but they have fun with it. We just hate each other, really. No. <laughs> but backstage, they really hate each other. You should have seen the, the hit that Noah gave Sarah earlier today. We won't say nothing about that, though. All right, judges, we ready? Not yet. Not yet. Rob, I was telling Noah how used to you and a bunch of others would get here on Monday to camp out across from the post office just to make sure you had a spot. And then every night they'd get her, gather around and pick and grin. And then come Friday, they'd be ready to perform and be here Friday and Saturday. And I remember on competition, there would be days when they'd have to say, hang on just a second. Rob grabbed the wrong instrument. He's got to go back to camp and get the other instrument. Or he broke a string, got to go replace it. Uh, yeah, I'd yell for my wife. said, uh, bring me back some guitar strings, you know. Yep, exciting times. All right, this is contestant number 24, our junior fiddle champion. He will do a breakdown, a waltz, and a song of his choice from Elkton, Kentucky, Mr. Noah Goble. All right. <laughs> Eagle? Yep, Gray Eagle we're going to do. It. Lonesome Moonlight Waltz.
gonna do one by the request of his MC back here, Washington County. Here we go. He is Noah Goble. That was Washington County. One of my all-time favorites. Thank you, Noah. As we are going to get our final tabulations as we'll crown our big fiddle-off winner. Big shout-out goes to Mr. Jake Ramsey and Miss Beth Chandler. If you're a contestant, you've gotten to know them real well. But folks out in Radio Land and in DTC Land, they are what makes this show happen in terms of what we say most of the time and also getting these contestants up on stage. If you're out there, give them a round of applause. They have been terrific. They have been absolutely terrific. All right. While we're waiting on our judges and their tabulators, we like Orange Blossom Special around here. What about y'all? Okay. If we got any dancers that are still here that are awake, if you want to come on up, Eden, if you're awake back there, if y'all want to come on up while they... She Even if you're not a quick. dancer and you want to be one. Well, they play Orange Blossom Special, waiting on the tabulators to get us our final. They are coming up here. We have a tradition of breaking down the stage and normally have more dancers and musicians, but they will take care of that here in just a second. As Sarah and Noah, accompanied by Rob, come up here. We're ready when y'all are, Noah. And if Tyler wants to jump on the fiddle, he's welcome to as well. Or jump on any other instrument. I think some of them have been added to the vehicle already. Or if we have the esteemed guest of Victor Australia, he can come and play. Connor. Connor of Australia. Connor, okay. What did I call him? Victor, Victor. Well, he didn't show up at the awards, so he's well, gone home. All right, folks. For those of you that's left, this is the Orange Blossom Special by our junior fiddle and our senior fiddle champions, Noah Goble and Sarah Harris, accompanied by Rob Piercy. Semi hot first and then kick it in your way. Uh, All right, yeah. you know how it goes. 
Sarah Harris and Rob Piercy. Thank y'all very much. We are ready to name our grand fiddle champion of the 2023 Smithville Fiddlers Jamboree and Crafts Festival. Miss Kim, I'll give you this plaque. Okay. Well, it all comes down to this. Our fiddle off champion who is receiving this year the Barry C. Williams Memorial Award between the junior and senior fiddler. We have with us our president of the Spinful Fiddlers Chambre. Miss Kim, would you like to say anything? I just want to say congratulations to the winner and congratulations to the runner up because the talented is just unbelievable and just glad you're carrying on our traditions. Thank you. I think our, our winner will go on to perform at the Grand Ole Opry. And this year's winner, it's between a two-time champion of Miss Sarah Harris, our senior fiddler, and our junior fiddler, who was the youngest winner of this award ever in Jamboree history. And this year's winner of the 2023 Fiddler's Jamboree Barry C. Williams Memorial Award, he will now be the second youngest winner of the Jamboree, Mr. Noah Goble.
We will get a photo here for them as they are doing that. We thank you for joining us this year for the 52nd Annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. We hope to see you next year for the 53rd Annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree, July 5th and 6th of 2024. Mom, come on up on stage. We appreciate you coming. We have, hope you have safe travels. We hope to see you next year. We thank you for your attendance and participation. Be safe. God bless. We'll see you next year. Thank you. Thanks for watching the historic Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree on DTC3. We hope you've enjoyed this special DTC3 TV broadcast. Brought to you by your friends at DTC Communications, making meaningful connections. We hope to see you down the road real soon.